Age Robin. Monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heroines. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Isles. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. It's almost quiet from up here. If only I didn't know better. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted? Go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us. Taking appointments. Attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true, but when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate, and the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. got the bullets in my chest. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Rathen. But you beat him. You're still breathing. And he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. I see you've been doing some remodeling. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer? Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you, my fleet and all of my men, or else... Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen.
From where I'm standing, it looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy it. I'll consider this your formal surrender. The Syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die first. I see. How about you boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorne. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns. But none of their leaders. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune. Save your strength. I thought we beat those things in Grey Harbor. Could it be... another harrowing? I don't know. But if it is, we're going to need help. We're going to need a lobby. Brothers and sisters, a new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This Blood Harbor Ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear, the stagnation he brings. We honor the Mother Serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise the goddess. Truth bearer, I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the Mother Serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. Unworthy. He is strong, Priestess. He may live. Perhaps, if the Goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. These streets are full of emotion. Nagakabora smiles upon us. Why do you embrace this foreigner's Priestess? The Pelangi do not respect the goddess, or Buru tradition. They make their own way. They fight to live. Walk among them, learn from them. Maybe even have some fun. They have many interesting desires. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their taverns. 
do not be ashamed. Next time I will join you. Now let us follow the rhythms of the street. Here, the men inside spoke recently of the killer we seek. We will wait outside. No need to get Pelangi stink on us. <laughs> More for me then. Hey, Langi stink. <laughs> Why must my people be so stubborn? Little man, tell me, where can I find the blood harbor? Who's asking? I am Elawi, truth bearer of Nagakaboros, champion of the Buru people. <laughs> sure, lady. And I'm the River King, Tom Kench. Buzz off. I'm trying to relax. Perhaps a display of strength will change your mind. Sorry. I try not to get into fights with strange women in bars. So, you're unworthy. Or just afraid. You see this sword? I've run it through hundreds of men. Most bigger than you. So how about you go on home? Hmm. I thought you would be strong. Is that all you had? I was just starting to enjoy myself. The blood harbor people. Tell me. No one I know has actually seen him. Rumor is he stalks the alleys around the Warrens. They say he ain't alive. Not really. Not alive. He is skin like a corpse, cold, and his eyes are empty, like a body pulled up from the sea. A creature trapped between life and death, an affront to the goddess. He uh, has a thing for captains. Find a captain, and the Ripper won't be far behind. They say. Thank you, little man. Hey, you uh. Wanna stay a while? I never drank with a priestess before. <laughs> you break too easily. We heard commotion. My new Peilangi friends simply wish to learn Buru tradition. Let us search the warrens nearby. Please! Please don't! So afraid, so alone. But soon, Captain, you'll be crossed off my list. And you won't feel a thing ever again. What list? I've never seen you before in my life. I'm not even a captain anymore. I haven't sailed in years. Please! Abomination. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Killing you would be fun. Oh. Meaningless. No. Forsaken one, do you think I am offering you a choice? Now face the test of the Mother Serpent. You will not survive her judgment. Cannot be. You are found worthy, but you are a monster. Goddess, what are you trying to show me? The Shadow Isles. Hang thank you. A great test. Better. 
Socrates. Help me understand. Priestess, are you hurt? How did the drowned one escape us? The goddess favored him. I do not understand. But you must. You are the truth better. The mother serpent's will flows through you. Perhaps you need rest. I need no such thing. Return to the village. I will join you soon. Truth bearer. Welcome. Elder. I seek guidance. Speak, child. Tell me what troubles you. I sought to purge Bilgewater of a great threat. An enemy whose shadow spreads fear and stagnation in the streets. Yes, such is your charge. And you do it well. But this Blood Harbor Ripper, I tested him. And the Goddess found him worthy. Curious, indeed. It makes no sense. He is no living man, and the unliving are shameful to our Goddess. How could he possibly pass her test? I have worked so hard to interpret her will, but this seems wrong. I should not doubt the Goddess, but now I worry I have lost my way. My child. The Mother Serpent's will flows through all things. Only when we follow our desire does the universe flow towards destiny. Open yourself up to all possibilities and let the path present itself. But have I misjudged her will? If this monster is worthy, have I been wrong about others? If I gave the Goddess's blessing to those who did not deserve it, that would be blasphemy. Perhaps I should renounce my position as truth bearer. Ilawi, I will not entertain such nonsense. I have taught you in the ways of Nagakaburo since you were a child. You are strong, and the goddess's will flows through you. Trust your judgment. But what if I'm wrong? The vision I saw, the black mist consuming everything, Something terrible is coming, and I cannot afford uncertainty. The Goddess sent me a vision, but I still need more. I need her guidance. Only the Goddess knows what destiny awaits. It is not my place to instruct you. You must find your own path. The stakes for Bilgewater are too high. I need to be certain in my course of action, yet I have so many questions. Then ask them. It is in seeking these answers that you alone find truth where others cannot. But you must also find patience, truth bearer. Elder, I... Yes. Patience. I will reflect on what has passed and hope a path presents itself. Priestess! Hori! There's something you must see! That is quite a man. This is Elawi. She's our champion. Our truth bearer. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom of the Freljord. The Freljord? You've traveled far. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more of your story. Great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has claimed the lives of many children. <coughs> Bram, it's really you. 
Yes. And look, I have brought a friend. Now, be brave. I take good care of him until I return. I will. Rest now. Brom will find a cure for this. You have my word. Brom, you promised the impossible. Your heart is pure, but the sickness is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me, what must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Brom, that place was destroyed by the Black Mist. Shadow Isles, they call it now. Dangerous. Who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes a story is just a story. Rob will return with this blessed water. Then think of the stories they will tell, huh? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, and I will happily do so again. Uh, once I find the bigger boat. In the battle with the mist, my shield was lost. It is very valuable to me. I will do whatever I must to recover it. Alawi, we come with a message from Captain Fortune. We ain't looking for a fight. Well, what is the message? She requests an audience. She says... Well, she says the Black Mist has returned. What? The Black Mist? It has returned! Thank you, Bram. She'll be expecting you. Come with us. I know the way. My friend... It seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As Truthbearer, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. This much I know. Perhaps it is the sign I was looking for. By helping you face the mist, I may learn more of the cure I seek, and repay your people's kindness. Your desire is strong. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. Beloved, does your god ever test animals? Does my... No. No, Naga Kaboros does not test beasts. That's a shame. Brom's known quite a few worthy Elmuks. What a magnificent home! Like a palace! But what happened? Something wicked passed through this place. Can you feel it? Stagnation and rot. Halawi, it's been a while. I was starting to think you were avoiding me. I have been busy. Maintaining harmony between the Buru and the people of your city. Perhaps you cannot see this from so high up on your throne. You've got reason to be cross with me. Bilgewater's changed since I took over. Not all for the better, I admit. Maybe you don't forgive me for killing Gangplank. I know that you two had something together once. But now that time's passed. I hope you can see why things had to go the way they did. Talk to me. I want to make things right between us. 
I am not blind, Sarah. I know that you did not call me here to settle our differences. Something terrible happened here. Someone attacked you. Not someone. Mistwalkers. They slaughtered my men. Last time, the city was overwhelmed by Black Mist. But this attack came from me. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. The Goddess granted me a vision. The Black Mist gathering in the Shadow Isles, growing more powerful, enveloping the world. A vision? I don't have time for your Goddess's riddles, Alawi. Mistwalkers invaded my most secure headquarters, took out a dozen of my best men. Raffin nearly died. Don't underestimate me, Alawi. I'll do anything to make sure this never happens again. Rome, too, has battled the mist. I'm sorry, who is this? It is I, Brom of the Freljord. Strong and dumb. Alawi, you have a type. Bram washed up this morning. The Black Mist attacked him at sea, near the Shadow Isles. But this is different. Years back, when we stopped the Harrowing in Bray Harbor, we thought we cleared it out. But what if we were wrong? We? You call yourself ruler of Bilgewater now. Why do you seek help from me? I thought I explained myself. I'll do anything to save my city and protect my crew. I'm going to be the kind of leader Bilgewater needs. But to do that, I need your help, dammit. I can't investigate Grey Harbor myself. I need to take care of the wounded and secure the city. I will go to Grey Harbor, because it is my sworn duty as Truthbearer to fight the Black Mist, and because I believe the Goddess has set me on this path. Not to help you. Whatever floats your boat, I'm grateful either way. If you or your handsome friend learn anything, you know how to find me. Handsome? What a spirited young woman. Beware. Sarah has not yet decided whether Bilgewater needs a peacemaker or an iron fist. So far, her justice always stinks of gunpowder and blood. Such interesting traits. We will investigate Grey Harbor. If the Black Mist has returned, I will drive it back as I have before. Well, what are we doing in Grey Harbor? Huh? This place is cursed. We shouldn't be here. Heard Malik's got a meeting with Gangplank. His corpse, more like. Fudge burned him alive on his own ship. Everyone knows that. We'll probably get it worse. Funny thing about Grey Harbor. Sometimes the dead come back. I wonder. Will you? Nothing some slack, Gangplank. You've been gone a long time. And you need every man you can get. Men will give my city back. Fortune survived. Those things you sent only rattled the hornet's nest. Made her even more dangerous. That was just a taste of what's to come. You have what I asked for. It's all here. But what do you want with this old junk? You have no idea what you're looking at. These Buru artifacts are the keys to the kingdom. Yeah, sure. Be lucky if we survive long enough to see what you got planned. Relax. My work's almost done. When I return, I'll have the Black Mist under my control. We'll take my city back from Captain Forge. Would a mist no friend from foe? It won't need to. Keep that around you. Tell your men to stay close. Don't do anything stupid, and the mists of Grey Harbor won't pay you any mind. 
Hey, if you're going back there, you'll need this more than me. <laughs> Not anymore. A tribute to the bearded lady. Just in case. Bilgewater belongs to me, living or dead. That's my destiny. But if I'm never to sit on his throne again, my ally better hold up his end of the bargain. So, this is Bilgewater. Uh, I can see why you hired a bodyguard. It isn't at all like Ionia, but it's so colorful. You can taste the salt in the air, everything's covered in sea foam. That isn't sea foam. Watch your step. Whatever business you have here, I hope it's brief. Don't worry, my contact won't be hard to find. Your contact? Who's that? A merchant. You'll learn more when the time is right. I like to know what I'm getting myself into. Besides, I can't protect you when you won't tell me simple things like who you are or where we're going. You seem... on edge. Are you running from someone? You were pretty eager to leave Ionia when we met. How about this? When you tell me who you are, I might tell you why I left our homeland. You have all the information you need, Swordsman. And payment in advance. But if you like, we can part ways here. Do you have a name, at least? Right. Let's go. You there. Are you the merchant who trades in Vestia artifacts? Shh! Keep your voice down! This is sensitive business! Are you looking to buy? If you know about the Vestia artifacts, you must be a collector! I hear you sell sunstones from the Vasani tribe. Mine I can. Those Vestia all died out long ago. Their sunstones are incredibly rare. I sold one recently, however. Who was the buyer? Can't reveal the name, I'm afraid. Client confidentiality. Just tell her. It's easier for both of us. Now, now. No need for violence. Your client won't mind if you tell me. Well, the client, uh, the man named Malik from the Jagged Hooks, he uh, said he was going to Grey Harbor. Grey Harbor. Is that nearby? The place is cursed. Only madmen go there. What's a jagged hook? Gangplank's old crew. They're not even scared of Sarah Fortune. You don't want to cross them. And neither do I. Leave me alone. You're looking for an ancient relic. That's something you could have told me. You learned it at the right time. Just like I said you would. Nah. These streets are dangerous at night. We should find a place to sleep. Oh, <laughs> you want the hourly rate or, uh... <laughs> Two rooms for the night. <laughs> You sure? One room will do. Is that Noxian coin? That ain't no good here. We only take silver serpents, no exceptions. Look, it's the only money we've got. Not my problem. Take your foreign coin someplace else. Hmm, are you sure? Take another look. Oh, such rare coin. You're too generous. Uh, take any room you like. Huh. And a drink for my friend. 
Oh, of course, of course. Uh, you enjoy yourselves now. Thanks. You make an excellent bodyguard. I'm not sure you need a bodyguard. What was that trick you pulled? Trick? What did you do to the merchant and the innkeeper? Don't play games with me. Why does it matter? My talents helped get us what we need. But I'm a human, and you... You're a Vestaya. I knew I wouldn't be able to hide it much longer. I met my share of Vestaya warriors. Feathered, furred, all kinds. But never one with your talents. I'm the last of my tribe, the Vasani. And I don't... spend much time around humans. Since we boarded that ship in Ionia, this is the longest I've lived among humans in a hundred years. A hundred years is a blink for your kind. Well, it feels longer when you're alone. Look, you may be a Vestaya and your magic may be powerful, but I made a promise. I'm here to help you. If there's anything I can do to keep you safe, you can count on me. But you have to tell me what's going on. I can sense a pain behind your words. Something weighing on your heart. You need this job more than I thought. Is this another one of your talents? <laughs> one of many. My name's Yasuo. You may call me Ari. A hundred years feels longer when you're alone. You are more beautiful than any flower. Please, leave me. My magic. I cannot control it. I don't care. I am yours. <laughs> no. What am I? A monster. in control. I have to feed soon. I should never have traveled with Yasuo. It's been so long since I lived among humans. His emotions. His memories. If I don't hold myself back, I'll consume them. It'll be safer if I do this on my own. Besides, I was going to leave him eventually. The secrets I'm looking for, they're for me alone. Harbor alone? Damn it. Did I say something wrong? If I leave now, maybe I can still find her. I can't fail at this again. I can't let her die. Enjoying the warm breeze? Hmm. In truth, Brom misses the Freljord's cold embrace. A cold embrace? That does not sound appealing. The Freljord is a harsh land, but survival has a way of bringing people together. Telling stories by the fire, hunting Elnook by moonlight. And the Buru? What brings you together? The Mother Serpent, the sea. We serve the Goddess, and she blesses us with an endless harvest. Many of her blessings are quite delicious. Ah! <laughs> Nothing brings people together like a delicious meal. In the Freljord, a mighty warrior named Olaf once felled a great frost serpent and made it into a stew. It fed his whole village for months. <laughs> now you've made me hungry. Then follow Brom's stomach. Let us see what we find.
Area sealed off. Get away from the gate. I am a priestess of the Kraken. I go where I please without any man's permission. I don't care who you are. This gate's the only thing stopping mist creatures from getting through. Now get lost! Perhaps we should try a different approach? We don't have time for this. Open your gate, or I will tear it down. Fine, lady. It's your funeral. Opening the gate! Stand clear! There. A more direct approach. Not quite what I was expecting, but effective. Something's coming! It is true. The Mistwalkers are indeed staring again in Grey Harbor. Our search did not take long. Yes, it was quite short. And we fought alongside an Ionian as well. <laughs> How fun! You're welcome. Now step aside. Swordsman, wait a moment. Your motion is quite intriguing. Those creatures were simply in my way. You head into Grey Harbor. Do you have any idea what you face? I don't care. I've got someone to find. Why not join us? We can search for your friend together! The mist is unlike any danger you have faced. Whoever you seek in Grey Harbor is likely dead. Speed will get you nowhere. It is true. Brom knows first hand. It almost killed him! <laughs> Who's Brom? Brom is me! Ah, I see. So... Brom has fought these creatures before? Yes, near the Shadow Isles. They overwhelmed me, destroyed my boat. I shall soon return to face them again. This time, Brom will be ready. <sighs> If these things are giving a big guy like you trouble, maybe we should stick together. In that case, I'll help you. For now. Help us? <laughs> and your help is most welcome. Uh, what shall we call you? Yasuo. So this is Cray Harbor, yes? Such fog. I see where it gets its name. This place... stagnates. You are sweating like a true Vask in the sun. I can feel the spirits here. They are festering. I will allow no such thing. We will return motion to this place. The light of the bearded lady will show us the way. Yes, of course. Bearded lady, motion. What have you gotten yourself into now, bro? What happened here? A town square should be filled with the sounds of laughter and the music of the smith's anvil. It was not always like this. The heroine. It happens every few years. Without warning, our second isles are overrun. The black mist of the Shadow Isles rolls across the ocean in an unstoppable wave, unleashing a horde of maddened spirits on all who stand in its path. Great champions of darkness ride against the shores of Bilgewater. The last harrowing we suffered took root here in Grey Harbor. Many were lost, and we fought with all we had to hold our ground. That night I called upon the power of my goddess Nagakaboros and cleansed Grey Harbor. Yet somehow the mist has returned. 
and the shadows with it. Something has upset the balance. There is a temple here. It may provide us with answers. Hey, Samir, is the mist getting closer? Look! Would you relax? Malik said the necklace would protect us. Exactly. And I don't see Malik out here, do you? Shh! Hear that? Something just moved out there. Leave me out here! The jagged hooks. Gangplank's old crew. Whoever they are, it's a miracle they've survived this long. No, not a miracle. Come, we must investigate. The jagged hooks. The person I'm looking for came here to find them. These are rough men. Your friend may be in danger. Yeah, we'd best hurry. Yasuo, sit with me a moment. If you insist. I wish to know you. It is better to fight among friends than strangers. I'd say both have their disadvantages. <laughs> I know what brought you here. But what of your life in Ionia? What's there to tell? I've always been a drifter. I go where the wind takes me. I'd tell you more, but talking makes me thirsty. You like your drink. This much I know. It helps me tolerate other people. Even me? Let's find out. <laughs> then let's drink to new friends. And stubborn strangers. Good evening, Yas. Mm. I see you've helped yourself to a drink. Or several. <laughs> a couple more and I won't even know you're here. What is troubling you, brother? I'm no one's brother. Not anymore. Oh. What do you mean? I had a brother once. His name was Yone. What happened to him? I killed him. Any other topics you'd like to discuss? Brom... does not know what to say. Oh, there's a first. Brom will go. Uh, you can stay if you sit quietly. Really? Sure. Just... No more questions. Hmm. What about stories? Ah, <sighs> Brom. Okay, okay. Didn't think bounty hunters would have the nerve to come out here. I think you are mistaken. I know a killer when I see one. I'm not a bounty hunter. But if you've hurt the girl, I will make you suffer. Your girl put some of my best crew in the ground. She wasn't pleased to hear that my boss took her sunstone to the Shadow Isles. If she wants to get taken by the Black Mist, that's not my problem. She done got one of these fancy necklaces to keep her safe. Wait. That stone around your neck. Where did you get it? <laughs> You know exactly where I got it, don't you, truth bearer? Kill him. Well, damn. If this is the end, I ain't going out empty handed. Don't be a fool. That necklace is the only thing keeping the shadows at bay. Then you should start running. There's a voice in the mist. It calls out. Back to the shadows with you.
temple lies ahead. Perhaps the woman you are looking for went there for shelter. Damn it. Why did she leave without telling me? I won't abandon my duty. Not again. Yes, we are stronger together. Let us proceed to the Buru Temple. Ah, Yasuo. Come, friend. Sit with me. If you insist. Of course I do. I never take no for an answer. <sighs> right. So, how did you come to fight with only a shield? Why not a weapon to go with it? A finely honed blade or a mace? Well, it began in the Forge of Orm. Ah, here we go. Rom once punched through the heart of a mountain into a locked vault. With fists alone. And pried a mighty vault door off its hinges all the way out. It was all to save a trapped troll boy from certain death. Since that day, Brom always carries it as a shield into battle. A symbol of protection. That story was... shorter than I expected. And all of it true. I'm sure it is. These serpents, they're like Grelfi, no? Grel... Fiend? Big sea dragon under the ice. Very big. Very angry. It is dark in here. I prefer the sun on my back. Lower your voice. Nagakaboros demands respect. Apologies, priestess. A booming voice. I suppose it is part of my charm. <sighs> this is not my first time inside this temple. Just a little longer. We have to push these things back! Lawi, whatever you're doing, do it faster! Anything less generic to say? You are brave! I will enjoy weakening your soul! I'll take that as a no. You will reap no more souls today, not while I still move. Darkness, be gone! It feels like a lifetime ago, but that night, we drove back the mist. Or so we thought. I don't more of your people live in Bilgewater, Priestess. Doesn't the island belong to them? Unfortunately, most Buru hold tradition in close regard. They see Bilgewater as a city of Pelangi, outsiders. The goddess Nagakaboros teaches us to embrace desire. I find Bilgewater to be a city of desires. You would be forgiven to see otherwise. People come to Bilgewater to follow their own path, to move as they see fit. In that, I see truth. The only true evil is stagnation, when life and movement are held back. It is why I must push back the Black Mist. Whether the people you defend are good or evil? The Mother Serpent judges. I defend. And you? What do you fight for? It seems to change day by day. For now, this will do. Lawi, are you... Quiet. She's praying. Someone, an outsider, has been here. Something was taken. Something important. There are catacombs below. I must learn more of what happened here. Then below is where we will go. 
The temple protects its secrets from outsiders. There will be trials to overcome. Are you certain you wish to continue? With our combined might, no challenge is too great. Let's just get on with it. You are both headstrong. It is quite entertaining to watch. Tread carefully. Only the worthy are welcome here. Rom can be surprisingly light on his feet. Uh, maybe we are doomed. Something is wrong. Uh, I feel it. Like a cold whisper on the wind. Buru spirits should not linger. I fear something wicked has taken root here. Another vision? No, just meditation. As truth bearer, I am deeply connected to Nagakaboros. Her will is my will, and I embrace the motion of my destiny. But my duties can be... overwhelming. Sometimes a moment's rest is all I need. Then perhaps a story is in order. Has Brom told you of the time he battled the fire-breathing Drake deep below the Winter Spike Mountains? Its fire poured through the frost, carving great rivers in the ice. Do you have a story for every occasion? <laughs> what can I say? Brom has had many adventures. Go on then. I'm listening. It happened during the year-long blizzard. Brom had just diverted an avalanche away from a small fishing village. You dare set foot in my temple? This temple belongs to the Great Mother Serpent and no other. Leave or be removed. Ha! Your goddess abandoned this place. You should have done the same. Now I will repay your insolence with terrible cruelty. Ancestor, tell me, what has happened here? Zaktar, the false one, corrupted the steeper. Her defeat has given us clarity. But it was not she who disturbed our slumber. It was a man. Look and see him. He knew our Buru ways. He took the heart of this temple. Bang Bang, why would he steal from the temple? After the temple was reached, our spirits gathered. The false one seized the advantage, preying on our confusion and drawing many to her side. Rest now, ancestor. Yes. Thanks to you, we will return to the Mother Serpent's heart. But heed my warning. We sense a great harrowing to come. Trust in the Mother Serpent. Only she can push back the mist. Who is this man? Gangplank. He was... An old friend, the former river king of Bridgewood. Sarah Fortune fought him for control of the city. She believed he was dead. I did not expect to find him here. And if he brought back the Black Mist to Grey Harbor, has allied himself with the Shadow Isles, I fear for dark days to come. Sounds to me like we've got a shared interest in the Shadow Isles. What's our next step? Go on ahead. I need a moment to pray here. Goddess, how 
can this be? Why would Gangplank do this? Truth bearer, your unease pulls me from the Mother Serpent's heart. Why do you struggle? I fear I have brought a great darkness upon Gunjorda. Gangplank, why does this man bring you such dread? Once I had loved him. He lived among my people, embraced our way of life. That was many years ago. Still, as I watched his ship burn, some part of me mourned. The Buru found him, barely alive, and brought him to me. He begged the Buru to help him take back Bilgewata. But my goddess believes mortals must fight for their own desires. He was only a sad shell of the man I once knew. So desperate. So weak. I tested him, sure that he would fail. But the Mother Serpent's will is not always clear. The goddess found him worthy. She must have seen something in him that I could not. I gave him what he wanted, sent him on his way to chase his destiny. Mother Serpent guide you. Do not stray from your path, and all will be right. I must tell Serva that Gangplain is alive. But for the sake of peace in Bilgewater, she cannot know the whole truth. Not yet. I hope I am making the right choice. Are you collecting, strange men? I see you caught a new one. We come from Grey Harbor. We visited the temple, communed with the spirits of my ancestors, and they warned of another harrowing to come. What? This can't be happening. Not again. We lost so many. Sarah. Are you absolutely sure? This isn't just some one-off attack. There is more. Gangplank is alive, and somehow he is behind this. That's impossible. You know it is. I killed him and sank his ship. I'm... I'm a busy woman. I don't have time to listen to ghost stories. Sarah, you burned his ship and took his city, but he clung to life. I don't believe it. I can't. You can and you must, Sarah. He stole the relics from the abandoned Guru Temple in Grey Harbor. How did this happen? How did he escape? It does not matter how he survived. We must find out what he is planning. That's not a mystery. If he is alive, he's planning to overthrow me. Whatever his intentions towards you, the danger to Bilgewater is far greater. Sarah, I had a vision. <laughs> the goddess sure likes giving you those. A heroine is coming, and Gangplank is the cause of it. He has fled to the Shadow Isles, and we must follow. I can't believe this. I spent years planning my revenge. I cleaned up this city and cleared out all the filth he left behind. After all that, now I must hunt down my mother's murderer and kill him again? Sarah, I... Out! Could have gone better. Uh, 
I'm surprised it didn't go worse. Her hatred of Gangplank is overwhelming. I cannot heal the wounds he left on her heart, but I'd hoped the scars would not be so... fresh. The past... isn't so easily discarded. That woman will cut down anyone who gets in her way. Sarah will play some part in driving back the mist. I have seen this. Stop! If what you say is true, if another harrowing is coming and Gangplank is behind it, I have to protect Bilgewater. I believe that together we can stop it. The Goddess has set us on this path. All right. But whatever happens, Gangplank is mine. And this time, he's gonna stay dead. Now that we are together, it is time. We will face the Black Mist at its source, the Shadow Isles. About time. But won't we need a ship? You really aren't from around here. <laughs> we can take one of mine. But we're going to need a crew. A very good idea. Brom has recently drowned, and does not wish to drown again. I've got plenty of men, but we'll need a good navigator. And without a gunner to man the cannons, we won't even make it out of the harbor. Sounds like you've got people in mind. They'll be holed up in the Watchtower District, as usual. Shouldn't be too hard to find them. I just hope they're not too far into their drinks. The drink or two sweetens the journey. I plan on drinking the whole way. We'll share a toast. To Gangplank. May he die as he lived. Brutally. In the Freljord, family is everything. Everyone always together for survival. Here, it is very different. People come here from all over the world, and they usually come alone. But where are the new families? People coming together in a harsh land, gathering around a fire with newfound friends. <laughs> you got a lot to learn about Bilgewater. Perhaps this place could use some more... furnishings. Got any ideas? I was thinking perhaps a mountain here, and some snow. All around there. One of these days, we're going to have a proper government building here. You remind me, the great warrior queen from the Freljord, Captain Fortune. Oh, really? Can she also shoot a bottle from a hundred yards? Hmm. She probably could. You should rest. <sighs> you are right, Hilawi. Rome will try harder. You don't seem yourself. You worry. Yes. For my people. You are doing all that you can for them. I know you will succeed. Now ease your mind. Perhaps with a story. Hmm. Let's see. Well, the night time. It makes me recall stories of... Ah. The Voice Eater, a legendary beast that eats people alive, crying out their final words in their own voice. It is said many in the Freljord have vanished in the dark of the night, chasing after the voices of those they've lost. That is why we have a saying, do not answer the voices in the dark. That is terrifying. Well, it is just a story. <laughs> but you're right. Brom feels much better now. <sighs> Good night, Ilawi. So what's your story, big guy? You don't seem to be from around here. No. Brom hails from the Freljord, a distant land of mountains and snow. And you walk around with no shirt on? Ha! <laughs> Brom is ice-born. I do not feel the cold. 
I've lived on this island my whole life. Never given much thought to what else was out there. You must visit the Felyard. Meet our fierce warriors, slay a few trolls, and most importantly, you must try our Druvask stew. Druvask stew? I'll bet it's as good as it sounds. Ah, all this talk of the Freljord makes Brom long to return. But not until my quest is complete. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. And who knows? Maybe one day I'll finally see the Freljord. And warm your belly with Druvask stew, eh? No promises. We've been waiting for you, Captain Fortune. Is this your crew? Guess so. As promised, one magnificent ship. That is a mighty vessel. Does it have a name? I haven't gotten around to naming her yet. She was... recently acquired. Care to do the honors? Really? Oh, but I couldn't. Brom is not so good at naming things. Come on, first thing that comes to mind. The, uh, charming lady? Brom, you lady killer. Excuse me? The charming lady. I like it. <sighs> All right, people, listen up. This isn't a pleasure cruise, so don't get too comfortable. We've got a harrowing to stop. I've got a washed up Reaver King to kill. And remember, from here on out, it's Captain Fortune. Hi, hi, Captain. Uh, this is gonna be a long trip. Potential, but you are a wild boy, a tempest that must be tamed. Yasuo, remember all I have taught you. Master, I never should have abandoned my post. Yasuo, what have you done? Have you no honor? Kione, you're mistaken. This wasn't me. I... I was only gone a short while. Will you further disgrace yourself with these lies? Our master bears wounds. Only your blade could have done. Brother, please let me through. No. melody. Don't let me stop you. I prefer not to have an audience. Ah, yes, the Lone Swordsman. A classic tale. I was seeking some quiet. Alawi and the others speak highly of your skills. Are we still talking about my music? We don't know each other yet. But if you're as good as they say, I could use a man like you. A man like me. Sometimes my enemies need convincing. That blade of yours would help certain negotiations. I already work for someone. Right, the missing girl. Whatever she's paying, I promise my terms would be sweeter. I swore I would protect her. And I'll keep my word. Even if it leaves me poor as a beggar. Or dead. You remind me of a saying I once heard. Fear the warrior who has been disgraced. He will set pride before reason, 
Redemption before life. Uh, it's Ionian. I know it. Don't talk to me about disgrace. I was talking about redemption. I don't care what you did, or about your past. My offer stands whether you find your girl or not. But for the record, I hope you do. Enjoy your solo. Your sailing improves. You are still on board. Ha! <laughs> yes. And the water is still outside the ship. Then... what troubles you? Uh, you worry for your people. Yes. <sighs> Rome has vanquished many foes. But what my people face now, this... sickness... It cannot be stopped with fist and shield. I admire your strength. Yes. It is uh, one of Brom's most admirable qualities. In Buru culture, we respect those who take what they want. Strength is a tool that allows us to live in the moment. And I suppose we are having a moment now? Yes. One we could have below deck. Yes, the Brom would love to continue discussing the Buru religion. But with the sea, the ship's rolling deck, Brom is afraid to take his eyes off the horizon. Oh, oh dear. You must forgive me. When Brom is sick, it is a mighty storm, an avalanche of... Oh, uh, please excuse me! Man is strange. I like it. Really? I need to remind you to knock? We have unfinished business. Yes, that's why you're on my boat, heading towards the most dangerous place in existence. What more do you want from me? Sarah, I can tell you are hurt. I'm hurt? Oh, yes. Gangplank still lives. Sure, this is obviously not great news to me. But we're going to kill him properly this time. And then I'll feel better. I know his deeds were unforgivable. But I want to make it clear that my priority is not Gangplank's death. It is to stop this harrowing. But Gangplank is causing this harrowing. You saw it in a vision yourself. Sarah, I am bound to the Mother Serpent. She has plans for all of us. She needs me to save Bilgewater, but she didn't give me specifics. I must put the Goddess first. I don't know how that will affect our mission, but we do not have the same goals. I try to respect your beliefs, Alawi, and maybe your intentions are pure. But he killed my mother. I... I know. The Goddess will send me another sign soon, I am sure. But until then... What the hell? Above deck, now! Captain, there's an angry giant headed right for us. Brace for impact! some steam. Keep fighting! This mission will not end here. Not against this thing. You! The priest.
erased this from the docks. You put the new voice in my head. I tested you. Yes. The Mother Serpent deemed you worthy. Worthy? The dark will come for you. You swallow everything. Stop. The voices. So, your coming is no coincidence. The Blood Harbor Ripper. My prey calls me that. My name is Pike. You brought the Blood Harbor Ripper onto my ship? I'm starting to reconsider our arrangement. Sarah Fortune, I know your name. You've killed a lot of good men. I'd be doing the world a favor by gutting you right here. Sarah, he is chosen. Well, make better choices. I have seen the truth in the deep. Blood in the water. And on my list, one name burns brightest. What name? Bang Plank. The Deep demands his blood. The Fool has made powerful enemies. A whole ship full, it seems. I know a weapon when I see one. That I can use. So long as it doesn't gut me in my sleep. What do you say? Your terms are acceptable. For now. This has been a very exciting voyage. Part of our plan. Gangplank, you knew my nature when we made our alliance. These souls strengthen my magic. And besides, this island is loyal to your enemy, misfortune. These fools abandoned you at your darkest hour. Now, they feel your triumphant return. Well, the crown is buried in Bilgewater, like you asked. Excellent. Even now it draws the black mist. Soon, it will expand my reach to the city itself. What of the Buru artifacts? I have them all here. Then let us return to my domain. The ritual can finally begin. All of this for Bilgewater. When this demon's done, I hope there's still a city left for me to rule. We've arrived. The Shadow Isles are even more frightening up close. The Black Mist will be strongest here. Goddess only knows what we shall face. Steal yourselves. Despite the dangers, we must focus on finding Gangplank, no matter the cost. One man can be killed as easily as another. Why the concern? I already killed this man once. What is that delightful aroma? Just cooking up a little something. Mm, the smell is so spicy, so, so savory. You must teach this to me. Sorry, big guy. Old family secret. One of the few things I have left from my mother. It is special, this love you have for her. You honor her memory. Yeah, well, she was a special woman. Now let's see if I've done her recipe justice. <laughs> this... this is incredible! 
As good as your Druvasks do. Better. <laughs> well, maybe when all this is over, I'll let you take my recipe back to the Freljord. If I'd trust anyone with it, it's you. Thank you, Captain. This warms Brom's heart. And his belly. Sharpening your blades. A habit. The flesh is too weak to dull them, but it brings me peace. Besides, a cleaner death is my way of showing mercy. I suppose it is. The test. You wonder how I survived? I do. What did you feel? Did the Mother Serpent speak to you? Hmm. I heard... Uh, a voice... I have not heard before. It clashed with those I have. Blood and smoke. Liquid black. Myself. With a burden. A different one. A new calling for you. That could explain... Temporary. Like most living things. I am curious to see if you are right. I don't really care if I am. Dark things here. Nothing I trust. Not like the Deep. At least the big things down there have the decency to show their faces. Ugly faces. But honest ones. He speaks the truth. What's this? A seal. A powerful one. Magic is kind of your thing, right? So this is no big deal. Magic? Do not tempt my anger, Sarah. My knowledge flows through the Goddess. This ward is something else entirely. A twisted power. Something we should get used to seeing, I suppose. I can try to break the barrier, but it will take time. Time is one thing we don't have. Can't I shoot it? If you'd care to try, by all means. The deep. It calls to me. The deep? Where? From. I assume he knows what he's doing. My goddess found him worthy. cold. It's not normal. I feel it even when we're around the fire. Brom never feels the cold. But here, my bones rattle. Don't tell me you actually sleep with your eyes open. I don't sleep. Oh, well, that makes two of us. You are haunted. You want revenge so badly. I can taste it. Hey, I've got a list too. But mine only has one name on it. Gangplank. When I've killed him, then I'll see about getting some sleep. The Deep calls for his blood. Who would have thought you and me would ever have something in common? But Pike... I need to be the one to do it. Or... We can take turns. I've never shared a kill. Maybe just this once. The spirits here are restless. What do you know of spirits? In Ionia, the spirits are calm. The world flows around them. Rocks and the stream. Perhaps I would like to go there. What is it, friend? This cloak. 
It was worn by the one who hired me. The one who disappeared in Bilgewater. It smells like flowers. How nice, eh? I was her guide, her protector. And I still owe her my duty. I gave her my word. Words. Bonds. They are all we have. And this time, I will keep it. In this, we have an understanding. In the blade as well, I see. Yours is too long. Clumsy. A blade is never clumsy. Only the one wielding it. Has Bilgewater always been your home? What it was before doesn't matter. Now it's just my hunting ground. The city is full of killers, but it's your name on every sailor's lips. You do not simply hunt, you bring terror. There is power in fear. In that we agree. But you limit yourself. I believe there is more to you. A higher purpose. What purpose? That is for you to discover. You only see blood in the water because you've been swimming in place. Blind to the vast open sea just beyond. There is nothing for me beyond. There is only the deep. Pike. No more words. I wish to be alone. I'm sure you did what you had to do. I'm sorry, what? Your brother. You've proven thus far that you are not someone to take life in vain. I appreciate your optimism, but I don't think you know me well enough to say that for certain. What makes you so sure? The winds, as you say, they blow many directions. Sometimes they are dark, cold. Sometimes they are warm and easy. We either move with them or twist in them. Apparently, I talk too much. Perhaps it was your test. And you survived. With a purpose. I... I do have a purpose. Proving my innocence is less important to me than serving justice. At least in this matter. I believe you. Just a few more people left to convince then. Captain, you're up late. There's work to be done. My schemes won't hatch themselves. What happened in Bilgewater... It's hard to lose people. I know you're doing all you can. Your loyalty to the city is admirable. Thanks. I wish others shared your view of things. Hey, I'm always looking for capable soldiers for my crew. And you... You're more than capable. You would do well for yourself. And for me. I'm flattered. But I know what I have to do next. And for that, I need to leave Bilgewater. Sorry to hear it. I hope you'll find your way back before long. Good night, Sarah. Corruptors! What? Where? Show them to Brom! You! Defilers of the Grove! Ah, majestic tree creature! There is a mistake. We... You go no further. Tarnish these lands no longer. This tree is very loud. I like that. Saplings shall rise where your corpses rot. I am suffering. They are not the enemy, Ageless One. 
Ari. How? And why? Yasuo, you found me. Even here. I see my choice was a wise one. Uh, perhaps. But was mine. <laughs> Speak of the outsiders, Ari. You know them to be friend. I know one of them. Evastaya. That's who you were protecting? She hired me as protection. That obviously wasn't necessary. Why did you leave without telling me the truth? The truth wasn't yours to know. My search is mine alone. I thought you were in danger. You had my help, but you chose to fight through Grey Harbor alone. It is not wise for me to stay in one's company for long. I could sense your potential. It's why I sought you out. And why I had to leave you. Hmm. Boy, I hate to interrupt, but we aren't here for touching reunions. Or awkward ones. Then why are you here? If not to disrupt the Grove. We're following someone. His name is Gangplank. The one who disturbs the mists. What does that mean? Gangplank is manipulating the Black Mist? That's impossible. Do you truly believe it impossible, human? I... Damn it. I came to the Shadow Isles seeking Gangplank as well. He brought an artifact of my people here. But when I arrived, I learned that he serves a greater evil. Thresh, the master of the Black Mist. It is worse than we feared. Thresh has a fortress here. Gangplank must be inside it. Wicked spirits? Deadly mist? This was a great kingdom! What happened here? This grove was sacred. An oasis of life, surrounded by choking death. The last bastion against encroaching shadow. Now, it too shall succumb. How could this happen? Show them, Ari. Before the Ruination, the Blessed Isles were a land of beauty and wonder. Surrounded by a magic white mist, the islands were hidden for many ages. Maokai roamed freely, as old as the islands himself. He plunged his roots into a blessed spring deep below the land, growing many saplings with their powerful waters. The land was blanketed by trees. Emerald tops as far as the eye could see. The blessed waters nourished all. Then, the humans came. At first, they thrived, though Maokai was wary. For many years, the humans lived peacefully on the island, some even communing with him and being shown the secret of the blessed waters. Many years later, the soldiers came. Maokai sensed something was terribly wrong. They sought the Waters of Life, having heard rumors of their healing powers. And finally, the Ruination. Fueled by greed and pain, these soldiers and their king unleashed a black mist upon the island. In an instant, a massive explosion rolled over the island, and the black mist devoured everything. Maokai absorbed what blessed water he but was forced to act. He fought off the shadows, seeking refuge. But now, the Shadow Isles are all that remain. And Maokai holds on to what little hope he can, fighting to push back the mist. You are a protector. I was. 
with free reign to roam the island. Now, the mist creates walls, impassable barriers that even I cannot penetrate. Your power is immense. Do you hold back? The one you seek, Gangplank. He stirs the mist. It appears more dangerous, even more nightmarish. It moves where it should not. That doesn't answer my question. I am held back, Deep One. My roots, which once drank of the blessed waters beneath the Shadow Isle's surface, are now absorbing the black mist. It has invaded the vaults below. Blessed water? Guardian friend, might Brom find some in these vaults? No. The wells have run dry. What blessed water remains now courses through my leaf and root. Uh, you are certain? Brom swore an oath to return to his village with a cure. Brom never tells a lie. What water remains in the vaults will surely be tainted. The Black Mist will see to this. With the help of his friends, Brom can find a way to cleanse it. We must try! That is, if any water exists at all, tainted or otherwise. Should I discover any, and you still live, I will share it. Vastaya, you head to the vaults. Why? I am in search of something. Some information. You could have told me that before. If you must know, I seek knowledge about my ancestors. My tribe. The Vasani. Wouldn't they be back in Ionia? I have never met them. But long ago, before the ruination, the Vasani came here. We are going to the vaults as well. We must free Maokai's roots, and clear the path forward if we hope to catch Gangplank. Ah, how... convenient. Allow me to keep my word. We're coming with you. Yasuo, you've seen my powers, but you haven't seen everything I can do. I've had mortal allies, friends, before. Being close to them, I hurt them. If I learn about my tribe, I will learn more about myself and my magic. Until then, it's safer for you if I travel alone. Our meeting again was not chance. There is a reason. We are coming with you. All right. Until we have each achieved our goals. When that time comes, we walk new roads. Alone. Then it is agreed. Perhaps you are here to cleanse, rather than corrupt. Tread lightly, small ones. This place feels broken. Events that happened long before our time, but still ripple. Like a leaf on the water. I can't help but feel the pain of the souls here. It's overwhelming. You spend enough time in it. It becomes bearable. What could you hope to learn about yourself in a place like this? The less you know about me, the better off you are, swordsman. Is it possible to know less than I do? If we're being honest, Yasuo, the rest of us know a lot less than you. I... am the last of my kind. There is no record of another Vasani. The only clues I have led me here. To the Shadow Isles? Alone? kids these days. I am older than all of you combined. Okay. Still. We need trust to work together, even if it's brief. Especially if we're fending off certain death. These sunstones. 
I've carried them my whole life, never knowing why or where they came from. A clue led me to Bilgewater, and a merchant there suggested Gangplank recently bought a sunstone from him. A merchant? Do not question me. We will help each other and be done with it. You don't trust her, do you? She is older than all of us combined. No, I don't trust her. I do sense conflict in her, but I am not fearful. We shall keep our heads up regardless. When the spirits in this place cry out, I can feel what they lost. I can see the Isles as they once were. You can see the Blessed Isles? They were beautiful, but so strange. My ancestors must have felt like such outsiders here. This is one of the Blessed Isle vaults. I heard of their beauty and legacies. Seeing them in this state is disheartening. That one remains intact at all is remarkable. The ruination lived up to its name. Which begs the question, can we get it open? What a beautiful door! I love beautiful doors! Okay... There's always a way in. Let's look around. The mist is thick with spirits who died in the ruination. And it carries the breath of their loss. Their despair. And that makes sense. There's nothing colder than the feeling of defeat. These markings... There is... something familiar about them. Can you decipher their meaning? There are so many memories in my mind. So many lives. I can feel something... reaching to me. Spirits? Did they speak to you? No. The stones are resonating with a memory. I can't picture it, but I can feel it. Maybe there really are answers here. Yes, well, I can come back if you wish to be alone. I don't mind the company. Unless it's Braum. <laughs> he is spirited. And you're polite. Ari, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? Back in Bilgewater. Why did you leave without me? I vowed to protect you. I was afraid that staying with me would put you in danger. And it comes with the territory. Not danger from our enemies. From me. I'm not afraid of you. I know. That's why I had to leave. Ari. Good night, Yasuo. Little Fox, can Brom do anything for you? Thank you, Brom, but I'm fine. I've grown accustomed to sleeping in caves, and without company. <laughs> My friend, beds are too small for Brom. <laughs> I too prefer the expensive cradle of the wilderness. The night Yasuo and I arrived in Bilgewater was the first night I've slept in a bed since I can remember. He cares for you a great deal, you know. When I met Yasuo, finding you was all he spoke of. It's why he came to the Shadow Isles. Uh, but uh, let's keep that between us. I... don't know what to say. Then say nothing. Just know, you are among friends. Rest now, little fox. And remember, we are stronger together. Thank you, Brom. I am glad to call you my friend. This vault is rife with the stench of black and... Death runs deep here. For Maokai, it is death we must repel, at any cost. A temporary reprieve. All will eventually drown. 
choking on the waters of life. Hmm, now he's a philosopher. He is worthy. Welcome, Gangplank, to my inner sanctum. Look upon your prize. Is that it? The ancient king's sword? It is the blade of the ruined king. Within it sleeps his spirit. With the Buru artifacts you delivered from Bilgewater, we shall extract the king's soul. Bend his dark strength to your service, you will need the amulet I gave you. I carry it with me always. The king is a creature of the black mist. The amulet can absorb the mist, but its strength is equal only to the bearer's will. When the time comes, your mortal will must defeat the king's. Only then will his magic submit to your control. A battle of the wills? You seem worried. Never fear. This king and I are from an older time. I know some of his secrets. If his heart still rages after all these centuries, I will break his spirit. You won't have to do that. My will to rule Bilgewater is unstoppable. Almost as unstoppable as misfortunes. Greater than hers. You cannot know what sleeps in the heart of your enemy. You must guard this amulet with your life. For now, the king must build his strength. Let us awaken him. We'll see what a thousand years of slumber does to a man's soul. Hear me through the veil. King of Ruin. Search for her when your strength has returned. Where is she? Your beloved deserves to see you in all your royal might, with all your powers restored. Yes, I... I am her king. She waits for me. So that is the man whose will I must break. He seeks his queen, but she is long dead. His love for her is merely a means to control him. Of course, he will submit to me. Take time to enjoy the estate, such as it is. We will try again soon. Pieces aren't. 
slay. Gangplank, the amulet, the king. Gangplank will provide a suitable mortal host. The amulet will break him eventually. Even the strongest cannot resist the mist forever. And when Gangplank's spirit breaks, all the souls in the world will be mine to reap. Do you not sleep, Ari? I try, but around others, it's difficult. Better to stay awake, in control. You have proven you are worthy of our trust. We have no reason to fear you. I wish that were true. I came here searching for answers, but it seems the more I seek, the less I know myself. I too struggle to find truth, but our destiny awaits us. When we embrace motion, every step brings us closer to it. When we stop, we become frozen in place. Then, we are lost. I have been lost for so long. I wonder what my life could have been. What destinies have already passed me by. All were paths leading to where you are now. Here with us, where you must be. Our destinies are entwined. I believe you are right. Thank you for helping me along my path. Wait. This door. The markings on it are reacting to my sunstones. Is this the work of the Vasani? I've carried these stones with me since I was a new one. They've been my only connection to the past. They seem like... A key, searching for a lock. They've been with me this entire time. They are not just artifacts. They are vessels, for memories. There was barely any energy left in them, but it was enough to unlock this door. It was no coincidence then. No. My ancestors, the Vasani, they were somehow tied to the Blessed Vaults in ways I still don't understand. The keys to your past grant insight into your future. Let us see what destiny has in store this time. His roots, the mist withers them, feeds on them. Something sinister lives here. More than just the black mist. Then we must eliminate it. Lure it out. I do not think that would be necessary. Anyone else getting tired of surprise attacks? Our resolve is strong. We have repelled the shadows. The mist. It retreats from the roots. This vault is cleansed. What of the Blessed Water? While Maokai's roots appear to be healed, the Blessed Water here has long been dried out. Do not fear, Bram. We will find a cure for your people. I'm sure of it. For now, we should return to Maokai. Hopefully this will be enough to clear the way forward. Little ones, my root once again takes hold, and my energy begins to replenish. If slowly, I am in your debt. Your leaves are already greener. A welcome sight. <laughs> oh, this ordeal has taken much of my strength. 
to fully restore the grove, to breach the walls of mist, <laughs> it will take time. Time? We don't have any. We need to keep going. I can offer no alternative. The Buru have battled back the mist for thousands of years. There must be something my people can do, that I can do. Yes, the Buru. Before the ruination, the monks of the Blessed Isles would travel to the Serpent Isles to make contact with your ancestors. I thought those but rumors, myths. If you doubt me, search the coast along the Serpent Isles. There is a temple below the sea, where the Buru taught some from the Blessed Isles to commune with your Mother Serpent. Impossible. If such word has not been passed down in Buru legend, how can I find... I will find it. Ripper? I have seen things in the deep. Then you know of this place. Get me close. The Undertow will call to me. Take this seed. Grant it the Mother Serpent's blessing. With it full of life, I can restore the grove and crush the mist that stands in your way. It will be done. Until we meet again, Maokai. Breathe in deep, crew. You smell that? Rotten fish? Rotten... corpses? Tough crowd. Fortune, I think you should take a break from this place sometime. Take a break? From Bilgewater? I wouldn't dream of it. Head to Ionia. See the countrysides. Embrace the quiet. Enjoy quiet countryside? Ugh, I'm sorry. That sounds like a nightmare. It is so warm here. Bro misses the cold. You ever been all the way down to the bottom of the sea, big man? Uh, no. No, I have not. Then you don't know real cold. Rom, are you a troll? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Trolls are, how you say, much bigger and more hair. But they're real? Of course they are! They even have a king! You sure you're not Lotlin? I'm pretty sure. I feel like I'd know if I had the blood of a party animal in my ancestry. I hear they're a fun tribe. Plus, they have your ears. Is this what the Freljord is like, Brom? Cozy, everyone friends with each other? Yes, it's a wonderful way to live. Brom <sighs> cannot wait to return. Wonder what it's like growing up that way. You often pray, Alari. All life is prayer. To work under the light of the sun and the waves of the Mother Serpent. Motion everywhere. What about fighting? Especially fighting. So the Buru believe that people don't own their souls, right? Indeed. Our souls belong to Mother Kaboros, and she can take them back if we are not using them well. I wonder if she's trying to take mine back. I think you are using yours quite well. This is a nice place. A lot of heart. You should be proud, Bilawi. I am. Someday you should come to the Frelio. The Avarosans have excellent hospitality. Elawi, your friends are looking at me funny. 
They've heard a lot about you, Sam. What? And they think I'm up to no good? I've been sailing around in circles. Hey, silent type. Please tell me you sense something. <sighs> That's very typical. You tempt fate with me, Fortune. You're lucky to be here with us. That Allah we let you keep breathing. Or keep not breathing. You'll encounter the wrong captain one day, Ripper. Many say you are the wrong captain. What? Well, I... Damn it! I had a great line ready. The fishman must sense something. He is much better swimmer than Brom. Maybe he can teach. Uh, didn't you swim all the way to Bilgewater? Yes, but... Brom is glad no one was watching. a problem. You sound a lot less confident than you did a few minutes ago. What have you found? The temple is below, but its power has drawn things from the depths. What kind of things? Masses of tentacles and eyes, scales sharp like blades, creatures of teeth and gills, the ancient sea's finest. So talk to them. Tell them to get lost. I can get past, Captain. You, however, are simply a convenient meal. We aren't getting past them. If we cannot fight our way through, we must create other solutions. I must speak to the Buru Elder. So just like that, we head back to Bilgewater? Unless you would care to go for a swim. <sighs> Turn the boat around. My child, you return. Your arrival was preceded only by your palpable unease. I must ask a great favor of our people. You are a truth bearer. We will hear what you have to say. I have discovered a piece of our history. An ancient temple. It was built in collaboration with the Blessed Isles, locked deep beneath the sea. So the myths were true. Myths? Why is this not common knowledge? After the ruination, it was not considered wise to speak openly of the temple's existence. A matter for another time. The way forward is blocked by rulers of the sea, too lethal to fight. I need the Serpent Callers. Lowry. The Serpent Callers are Bilgewater's last defense. You cannot call upon them lightly. Before, you received a vision from the Goddess. Has she sent you another? She... she has not. I prayed for another sign, but the Goddess has been silent. So, this grave request is simply... Your own judgment, then? Yes, I know that it is a risk. The Serpent Collars protect us from heroines. They are not to be trifled with. But if I succeed in my mission, we can stop a heroine before it even happens. I wish, I wish the Goddess would send me another vision, showing me the right thing to do, but she is silent. So my request for the Serpent Callers, yes, it is my own judgment as Truthbearer. You have made up your mind, and so shall it be. I will send Horn Callers to the shore. The Mother Serpent guides me. I will trust in her. As we trust in you, Alawi. Scare off.
of sea monsters with even more massive sea monsters. <laughs> that one was a juvenile. All right, if you're done showing off. The entrance is below the light, in the dark water. And what of the depth? Shall you teach us to hold our breath? I could drag you overboard, one at a time, and continue with those who live. There is another way. have creatures like that in the Freljord. Well, that was certainly effective, yet horrifying. This place. We walk the path of my people's history here. Guess there was more to the myths after all. But we've got a job to take care of. Yes, the seed. I feel the presence of the Mother Serpent here. Her power will allow us to cleanse it. Then let's get moving. You fight well, brother. The Freljord could use a skilled blade such as yourself. You really know how to wear down an opponent, huh? <laughs> when it comes to friendship, Brom will not take no for an answer. Don't take it personal. I've spent a long time on my own. I haven't had much use for anyone, let alone friends. No man should be alone. Our homes, our families, give us strength. When I fight, all of the Freljord is with me. Sounds nice. But I've got no home. They drove me out after what I did. Then build a new home, among new friends. You don't have to be alone. It suits me. Maybe you should try it. No, my friend. You see... Starting right now. Uh, uh, very well. We can be alone together. Hmm. Mike, you don't sleep. The sound of the deep never quiets. Perhaps you'd like to hear a tale. Yasuo seems to enjoy them. The sea tells many stories. Countless fools who've lost everything to the deep. Oh, Brom knows firsthand the dangers of the sea. I was nearly drowned recently. Not to mention all the sea monsters. There is balance. Man's domain is the land. Only darkness and teeth await in the open water. And worse, for those on my list. You speak of the least often. What is it? The list. The names of those who will be brought to the blade. The guilty. Then, Brom is glad not to be on it. You couldn't be. You're a fool. But you're honorable. Oh. How kind of you to say. Brom, I overheard you talking to Alawi. About the Freljord? Brom's voice carries. Forgive me. It's obvious how fond you are of your homeland. Like you, I'd do anything to protect my home. Flawed as it is. We must, no matter the cost. It takes a lot to impress me. But I have to say, I'm glad you're with us. You're strong, but it's your heart that steals the show. Don't forget my mustache! <laughs> how could I? Listen, after all this is settled, my city will do whatever it can to support the Freljord. If we've got any medicine or supplies you need, they're yours. No strings attached. Thank you, Captain. Come on now. 
You can call me Sarah. And you may call me Prom. Sometimes I wonder why I even try. There is some kind of scripture here. It's an ancient Buru dialect. How exciting! Can you read it? Give her some space, Brahm. She's concentrating. It seems that these people, my ancestors and their allies from the Blessed Isles, were in direct contact with Nagakaboros. There is a reference to a Buru forge on the Blessed Isles. Everyone needs a good forge. In the Freljord we have many! How could this have been kept from me? I will need to confer with the Elder, but let us continue. Surely there are more secrets to unravel, as well as the pressing issue of the Seed. Heading out? Sorry if I disturbed you. I've caught you sneaking off a few times now. It won't be long before the others notice. I hunt to satisfy my... urges. Or I risk losing control. And you're sure you need to do this alone? I appreciate your concern, but I've survived on my own for several of your lifetimes. It's easy to forget. You don't look your age. <laughs> Get some rest. I'll return soon. Right. Happy hunting. There is magic in the Freljord. Yes, everywhere you look. And it is home to many fantastic beasts. From the tiniest Boro to great frost serpents that stretch beyond the horizon. I'm embarrassed to admit that when we first met, I thought you might be a troll. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Brom is big, but trolls are bigger. And much uglier. What about Vastaya? Are there anywhere you're from? I believe there must be. I recall stories, but Brom has never met another little fox. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have never met an Iceborn. Ah, you know of the Iceborn? Only what little I've read in books. Books? <laughs> These things you must see with your own eyes. Someday, Brom will show you. I would like that. Someday. Masked one, what troubles you so? The undying compulsion to kill. Same as everyone else. Very interesting. Brom will protect those who cannot protect themselves. Hmm. I guess we're like two sides of a coin then. And the world needs coin. <laughs> a wonderful perspective. Uh, we should spar some time. Brom needs more practice fighting small enemies. Right now works for me. Ah. <sighs> No, the offer is appreciated, but uh, it is late. Perhaps once our journey is complete, eh? Rest well, friend. That's a strange one. This temple... It shares details with the vaults we've explored on the Shadow Isles. The Blessed Isles' reach goes far beyond what I imagined. And I thought all Buru temples were the same. Less stone squids here. I'll squids? You are referring to the image of Nagakaboros. Show proper respect. You want me to say a prayer? I do not think it would help you. You may be right. Her spirit is that of a thunderstorm. I'm not sure if I admire it or fear it. She is one of the few who can save Bilgewater. And doing so is in her blood. She is important. Yeah, perhaps we should have just stolen her boat. 
I would fear for the man or woman foolish enough to steal from Sarah Fortune while she still lives. As Gangplank must. Uru Idols. The power of Nagakaboros resonates in this temple. A seed. Here, we can bring it life anew. What? What is that I sense? <laughs> Something pulls the seed down. A cold mist. Ready your arms. The enemy approaches. Mari, can you hear me? The corruption from the seed. It triggered something in me. I lost control. Lost control? Should we be worried? I... This is why I am better off alone. Enough of that. You've shaken it off. You're fine. And it seems our mission has been a success. The seed. It radiates with life. Such an aura. It has been blessed by the Mother Serpent herself. Perhaps this was a test of what or whom I am uncertain. We must move with haste before the mist overtakes Maokai. This blade, a monarch's blade, still sharp after all this time. He was a mighty ruler who commanded vast armies, just like you will, when the mist is yours. Let us see how his strength has grown. Awaken, mighty king! I... I remember you. But... Wait, where is my queen? This again. My lord, you are building your strength. We will find her soon. He's not getting any stronger. It'll be easier to take his magic than you said. Who speaks to me in such a tone? I'm Gangplank, Reaver King of Bilgewater. Your kingdom is dead, but mine still waits for me. Your magic will serve my destiny. Do not tempt my wrath with such lies, present. What is that? Amulet around your neck. Come, come. We will find your queen soon. Do not try to calm me, wretch. My destiny cannot be denied. I will find her. He's not getting stronger. He's fixated on that queen of his. Peace, Gangplank. That obsession is his strength. You of all people know the power that comes from following your destiny. Yes. But his destiny is already broken. Mine still lives. King's destiny is far from broken. When he senses his queen, he speaks the truth. With her crown in Bilgewater, we lead him there. Then across the world, bringing ruination in his wake. Ah, 
Bra. The knock alone should have told me. May I come in? Have you changed your mind about our moment? I admit your timing is odd. Ah, the priestess. I... Uh, no. Well then, speak. This journey has been difficult. For Brom, yes. But for others, too. You will love me. Brom can see that you are like a, a snow lion without its snow. Something is amiss. You have a sharp eye, Brom. Indeed, this mission has been difficult for me. When we left Bilgewater, I hoped that my path was blessed by the goddess. But now, I am not so sure. With Pike, the goddess commanded me to go against Buru teachings. But lately, I have also challenged Buru tradition alone. I hoped that she would bless my decision about the serpent collars, but the goddess was silent. You made the right choice. Did I? There are some things I have not shared. Things that make me question the goddess entirely. I am about to tell you a grave secret, Bram. You must swear to never reveal it. Rome swears. A secret you call grave must be precious indeed. I knew Gangplank was alive. After Sarah tried to kill him, Gangplank came to me. I saved him because the goddess judged him worthy, but now he has failed to walk that worthy path. And you kept the secret from Sarah? The goddess commanded me to help him. If I told Sarah, she would have killed him in his sickbed. But perhaps I never heard the goddess rightly at all. Perhaps Gangplank deserved to die, and I am a fraud. Brom has a theory. Your goddess is testing you, just as you tested Gangplank. <laughs> to what end? If I fail her test, then all of Bilgewater will fall. Then you will pass, and we will help you. Any test of Ilawi is a test of Brom, too. Soon you will find the right time to tell Sarah the truth. Brom can tell. You think she deserves to know. And for that reason, you have my shield. Good night, Ilawi. You could stay. Another time, perhaps. A great battle with Thresh is approaching, and I feel I should be alone with my thoughts. You are strong, Bram. In ways many men are not. As the dawn darkens, champions gather. Who speaks? Declare yourself, Mistwalker. Many centuries have passed since I had a name. On the Shadow Isles, we lose almost everything. But not all fully turn to the mist. For now, you may simply call me Necrit. Well spoken for a creature of nightmares. You'll forgive our skepticism. The grip of Shadow is tight. A few sane souls inevitably trickle through. We do what we can to avoid the pull into madness. This one certainly feels... different. There is a calm to his soul, at the center of his torment. I would expect no less insight from Avastaya. You know them? You've met my people? They would visit us before their ruination. Did... did you meet them? What were they like? Did you see them use their magic? Why were they here? That I cannot say. Those who came did so deliberately, only speaking with a select few. That's... all? Forgive me, I'd... 
hoped for so much more. Hey, we're glossing over the fact that we're apparently allying with a Mistwalker. Are we suddenly okay with this? We have a common enemy. His actions created the nightmarish limbo I exist in. And he is coming for you. Gangplank? Thresh? One of those scumsuckers? We've heard of them. No. The Ruined King. That doesn't sound good. It isn't. Before he became the Ruined King, he was Viego, a powerful magic user ruling over a now forgotten empire. I was his advisor. Viego was a man of passion, beloved by his subjects. Above all else, he loved his queen, Isolde. She was everything to him. But Viego's kingdom was built by conquest. His enemies were legion, and ultimately proved more cunning than he thought. Viego managed to escape the assassin's blade, but Isolde was not as lucky. She was attacked and poisoned with a tainted weapon. Diego ordered his warriors to scour the world, seeking a cure. Ultimately, they came upon the Blessed Isles, having heard rumors of healing properties in the island's waters. While his army searched, Diego locked himself away with his queen. In time, she passed, and he went mad with grief. He ordered violent suppressions of rebellions amongst his people, clinging to Isol's body and refusing to leave her chamber. The king's generals returned, claiming a cure was found. He set out for the Blessed Isles, while villages burned in his homeland. Diego confronted the inhabitants of the Blessed Isles. They refused to grant him the waters of life. All but one, a conniving scholar with a black heart, the man who would become Thresh. Thresh led Viego to the blessed waters deep below the island. He lowered his soul's body into the waters, and their hidden properties coursed through her. The lantern wielding wretch watched with cruel pleasure as his soul returned horrible shadow of her former self. As Viego stared, frozen with grief and terror, the creature attacked. The two of them sank into the depths, dark shadow escaping from their bodies as they were enveloped by the waters. The pain and shadow tore through the island, corrupting the blessed waters and turning them into black mist. Viego was consumed by the mist, along with his queen, unleashing the ruined nation. The ruined king has been dormant for ages. Now Thresh seeks artifacts of power that will pull him from the mist, make him whole once more. Gangplank, what a fool. He has no idea what power he's playing with. You must stop the ritual. If the Ruined King manifests, he will unleash the mist across every continent. A heroine to consume the world, ravaging all life in its wake. Are there more like you, who might aid us? There is a gathering at the shoreline, where you enter the island. We watched your arrival with interest. Spied on us, you mean? We had to know your chance of survival, and to know your intentions. I hope you got a good look, so you know what happens to shadows that cross us. Save your threats for Thresh. Stop the ritual. Then, find me at the landing, and you'll see that our purposes align. You 
found what you seek. The life force was palpable the moment you set foot on the island. Yes. It was astonishing to see what our people accomplished together. Ancient history now carves a path forward through a grim future. Plant the seed that we might reveal hope. first met him. <laughs> that makes two of us. My power returned. Another blow against our enemy. But each step brings you closer to danger. Choose your path carefully. I fear the path may not be ours to choose. Well, let's pick one and keep moving. Before you go, a gift of thanks, Brom, hero of the Freljord. You traveled here for a cure that would save your homeland, and found none. Yet you stay, and fight to save mine. Of course! That is what it means to be a hero. In all my years, I have never met a heart so pure. If this is a virtue of your people, then they must be saved. These are... Uh, leaves. <laughs> I love them. In old times, when there was peace, and men were welcome here, they sought these leaves, and I gave them freely. From them they made elixirs, and potions to cure sickness. To cure? Those leaves are a part of me, you see. And within me flows the last of the blessed water you sought. It is my life's blood. The last hope of restoring this land. And it seems yours as well. Brom does not know what to say. <laughs> Brom is... The only one crying. We're all crying on the inside. <laughs> Go now. Find victory. And know that you will always be welcome visitors in Maokai's Grove. This is Thresh's mighty fortress? <laughs> I have seen bigger in the Freljord! The mist here is troubled, full of anger. We're angrier. I gotta agree with Pike. No ancient spirit can stand between me and Gangplank. Let's show this Thresh that no one crosses Bilgewater. All these trapped spirits. You feel pity for them? No. It's grief. They remind me of someone. The person I'm thinking of is... a fighter. But his spirit did not rest easy after death. You encountered this spirit? Yes. I can't stop fighting him, even after he's died. Seeing these cages makes me wonder... Is he trapped? Or am I? You'll have to meet him and find out. 
I think I joined up with you so I wouldn't have to. So, you steal people's memories? Something like that. I have a few I wouldn't mind being rid of. I can't fully control it. It would likely kill you. Well, that's no fun. Not usually. Even so, I would kill to have your power. All I've got to rely on is reading people's eyes. And good old-fashioned intimidation. It could not have been easy. One woman seizing control of Bilgewater as you have. I don't have to tell you this, but looks can only get you so far. Sooner or later, you gotta kick some teeth in. Agreed. I'm glad we can help each other in that regard. Me too. The Blood Harbor Ripper on my crew. Fate must have a sense of humor. <sighs> so how many captains have you killed? A lot. They put up much of a fight? A few. Any you regret? None. Yet. Poetic. I'd swear that's a veiled compliment. You didn't ask me if I enjoy it. Do you? Yes. <laughs> All right, Pike. Our day may come, but today is not that day. Instead, how about a drink? You're serious. A toast to the strange fate that awaits us all at the bottom of the sea. I'll drink to that, Captain. The darkness radiates from you. There is a sadness fueled by anger. Do you see an end to it? Are you always this blunt with strangers? Only those I can read. Those I understand. You and I. What use is there in looking to an end? I am neither mortal nor immortal, and while I think about the past, the future, I am always intrigued by the thought of my final moment. You are not? I look one foot past the edge of my blade, and no further. That is the only future I consider. No. You see more. He called me a peasant. This pampered king doesn't know how things work in Buildwater. The blood I've spilt, everything I've lost, he has no idea. I have earned my throne, too. What? Waking up from your snooze, are you? I see you now, Gangplank. You are a man of destiny. Release me from this sword. We can seek our destinies together. My queen and your kingdom. I'm no fool. I'll summon you when the time is right. When that demon Thresh tells you to. That amulet you carry. Put aside such tricks. Let us rule as one, with my queen by our side. Your queen is dead. Through this amulet, you will serve me. Did Thresh tell you that? I don't need to argue with some long-dead king. I have my triumphant return to plan. There's a demon waiting. My queen, this fool cannot stand between us. I shall crush his soul like an egg beneath my boot and return to you.
Wait. These markings are like the ones I found in the Blessed Vault. Your people made them? Yes. The Vasani, my ancestors. These artifacts belong to them. It's a strange feeling to see the traces they left behind. This is the closest I've ever been to them. It feels like the closest I've ever been to anyone. That's not true. We're here. You believed yourself the only one, yes? Through countless centuries. Though that seemed impossible. But what is that demon Thresh doing with their artifacts? Have you found something? I am unsure. What is it? It's another sunstone. A vessel. This must be the one Gangplank brought here for Thrash. But this one seems dim, as if it's been drained. Yet still, I can hear something. Something from within. Voices and feelings. Memories that feel familiar. If these are my ancestors' memories, why can't I see them clearly? They call to me, but they feel... foreign. Is there something wrong with me? If your people truly held secrets, it is no surprise that Thresh would be trying to steal them. I'll never know what secrets the Sunstone held, but at least I can keep it with me. Perhaps it will be useful later. For now, though, there are more pressing matters. An interesting discovery. Perhaps this will connect you to your ancestors. No one should be alone. I hope that is true. Thresh's chamber. Impressive. How can you tell? I mean, look at the door. It has Villainous Bastard written all over it. I see. Aren't you gonna offer to tear it down? Haha! <laughs> yes! Brom is tired of asking! And waiting! After you, my friends! Well done! Are we interrupting? Please say yes. You are too late. My plan is already in motion. It's so delicious when mortals put up a fight. As your hope slowly drains away, it will make your suffering so much sweeter. It is you who is going to suffer. You cannot defeat us. <laughs> Dead or alive, it doesn't matter. I simply need a time. Time to summon this world's new king. Scheming is at an end, torturer! My... my scheming? Oh no. My victory is already at hand. A new ruination will come to Bilgewater. It will cover the world. And then, I will return. All the souls in the world shall be mine. Thank the goddess. He's gone. Yeah, spirits don't usually return after I put that much lead into them. He said a ruined nation would cover the world. What has he done? It's Gangplank. We have unfinished business with that bucket of bilge slop. 
We must press ahead! The magic here is poisonous. It makes me want to flee. I feel it too. A great unhealed scar. But you can heal it, yes? We can try. Captain? You're not as discreet as you think. I know about your nightly hunts. Sometimes I struggle to keep my instincts in check. If you fear I'm a danger to the group, I... No, nothing like that. You've managed to balance incredible power with restraint. More than I can say for most. But watching you cut loose, well... I'm just glad you're on our side. It's an honor to fight alongside you all. Until this is over, I will treat your cause and your enemies as my own. That's music to my ears. Pike, I have wondered. What has led you to hunt as you do? I don't speak of the living man I once was. To see the path forward, we must sometimes look back. I don't seek anything. I simply am. Then what's the harm in discussing it? Hmm. I had a talent for butchering jawfish. A dangerous task. One few can survive. But I could, until my crew cut my line, left me to die in a beast's belly. I was spared and given new strength, but at a cost, an obligation, to drown my betrayers and their kind in their own blood. Then your vengeance is not indiscriminate. There is no purpose or need to question it. The man you were before, would he have? I'd suggest you ask him, but he's dead. Yes, perhaps he is. Ari, you search for answers. What can you remember of your life before? I have many memories, many lives within me. My own is the life that I wish to leave furthest behind. There is a haze, but I remember a man I loved. He was a painter. He could find beauty in all things. In me. I see. Yes, we were happy for a time, but then... I can guess. It was a long time ago. I've never forgiven myself, but isolating myself from the world has done nothing to dull the pain. When we hurt the ones we love, even when we have no choice, it can be a difficult thing to outrun. You remind me of him. An artist who paints with a blade. One that makes me laugh. Thresh has fallen. That demon couldn't hold up his end of the bargain. But I don't need him or his secret. My will to rule Bilgewater is greater than any musty romance. Wait! Don't release him! Gangplank, you're a dead man. It looks like my audience has arrived. Your new king is here, Fortune! I've had enough of your schemes, Thresh. It's time to take what I'm owed! Yes. I can feel your desire, your fury. Now, release me! Gangplank! Stop! You seek to trap me in this... Bauble. I am no weakened shade. I will be contained no longer. You cannot keep my love from me. My passion will burn this world until she is once again at my side. Serve your king, wretch. Well, 
We got him. We got him. Looks like he's still breathing. Finally. After all this time, it's over. But no. Not here in the mist and the mud where no one knows you're gone. A proper trial and execution. Back in Bilgewater. Sarah. If I put this tyrant to the sword in front of the whole city, the Syndicate will never challenge me again. A just punishment. Now is not the time to plan Gangplank's execution, Sarah. The ruined king has escaped. Thresh said the king would roam across the world, leaving destruction in his wake. The city is in danger. We must leave now! What's this? the Ruin King's memories. I could feel his... his rage. His hurt. His twisted love. He's ashamed of the truth. Isolde, his wife. At the end, she was afraid of him. But he won't stop shouting about how much she needs him. It's a lie he's telling to himself. A secret he keeps imprisoned in a forgotten corner of his heart. We don't have time to solve some Misty King's emotional problems. Let's get back to the ship and throw Gangplank into the brig. Everyone aboard? Anyone got eyes on the King? He's hard to miss. There's a huge black cloud on the horizon between us and Bilgewater. If Thresh was right about one thing, it's that time is our biggest enemy now. We must hurry to Bilgewater. Anyone have any bright ideas? Maybe. I could channel the wind, bring it to our aid. As I have before. I could support you, feed you energy, if, for a time, removing your body's natural limits. It is not something I have done before, but I believe it possible. Sounds crazy. Must be why I like it. Let's get the party started. While you speed us across the sea to our enemy, I shall speak to the foe nearer at hand. <laughs> Good luck with that. Gangplank was spouting all kinds of nonsense when I locked him up. to gloat, have ye? You tried to trade your soul for power, but now look at you. Sarah Fortune will execute you when we return to Bilgewater. Well, I said I'd do anything to get Bilgewater back. So that's what I did. Anything. <sighs> it was a... It was a bad bet, I admit. Thresh promised me the Black Mist. He said I could stop the heroines, or turn the mist against my enemies. All I had to do was defeat the ruined king in a battle of wills. <sighs> but I lost. You may have doomed us all with your bad bet. I should have had you around to keep me straight, I suppose. You cannot be serious. 
Whatever we had together, Gangplank, it is over. You know the Buru ways. Mortals must change and grow to satisfy our goddess. But you never change. You and Sarah are both trapped in the same prison. This fight over Bilgewater will kill you both and drag the rest of us down with you. I've been trying to change. After Fortune attacked me, I abandoned my pride. When they pulled me from the water and brought me to you, I wanted to be judged. I wanted to know if there was something left in me that mattered. When I was staring death in the face, you were the first thing I thought of. Maybe the only thing. You have been in my thoughts as well. I cannot stop thinking what a fool I was to save a man who would ally himself with Thresh. I have questioned every moment since the Mother Serpent judged you worthy. I thought the path she set me down was broken. Or that I was. Redeem yourself. You were closest to them, to Thresh, to the Ruined King. Help us. You choose silence. Then I will gladly help Fortune execute you. No. You're right. I can do more to help. This amulet. Thresh told me it has the power to absorb the Black Mist and trap the Ruined King. But your will's gotta be strong to make it work. Stronger than his. <sighs> what drives this ancient king? Why is his will so strong? Love. He seeks his wife. They perished young, caught in the ruination. But Thresh knew a secret that would shatter the king's will. He never shared it with me, though. I should have asked. No need. I think we have discovered it. Ari channeled the king's memories. His love for his wife wasn't always a pure and beautiful thing. It seems the king hides the sour, twisted parts of his love from even himself. Like another man I could mention. <laughs> Does the amulet still work? It doesn't shine as it did when you used it on the Shadow Isles. When the ruined king attacked me, it was uh, corrupted. But don't ask me how to fix it. You've got to figure that out yourself. In a battle of wheels, you must know that I shall give this amulet to Sarah Fortune. I figured you would. Her will is strong. I thought you'd do anything to destroy her. I would, but... Bilgewater needs protection. When I was with Thresh, I would have gladly ruled over a heap of bones. But now... By the goddess Alawi, someone's got to save that place. I want to rule over a city with people in it. And... That amulet isn't safe to use. It got me. It might get her, too. Which would save me a step. <laughs> if you manage to survive the punishment you've earned, perhaps you are worthy after all. You just tell Fortune she won't be executing me. I still have a few tricks left. Everyone on deck! Looks like we caught up to our king. So this is what we face. This power... It's terrifying. Everyone grab onto something. We've got heavy winds incoming. I'm getting tired of shipwrecks. But at least this one was with friends. <laughs> Everyone in one piece? It'll take more than that to send me back to the deep. Even Gangplank washed up alive. No thanks to these chains. They're not coming off, murderer. Throw him back in the brig, please. I 
cannot stand here chatting. The ruined king is getting away. Don't worry, Alawi. We'll repair the ship and get after him. How can we catch up in time? His power is immense. If he reaches Bilgewater, it will be the end. In the ship, Gangplank gave me this artifact. It can absorb the ruined king. But now, shipwrecked, failing this close to victory, has the goddess forsaken us? Allow us stop. It's no time for self-doubt. My men will patch up the ship and we'll get back to Bilgewater. There's something strange here. Yasuo? The wind here feels strange. It makes me... uneasy. In what way? I can't say. As if it's whispering something. Trust your instinct. It will guide you well. My instincts tell me I don't want to be here. Do you not feel it? Something here calls from behind. The past. I think it's best if I take a moment to speak to him alone. you used your abilities on the ship. I'm fine. I can sense great unease from you. Pain. Something about this place is making it worse. When we met, you asked me what I was running from. I dodged the question, but the truth is, I've been running for a long time. Years ago, I was falsely accused of killing my master. Yone, my brother, hunted me down. And when he found me, I killed him. I've heard the humans tell this story back in Ionia. All of Ionia knows my story by now, but everyone has their own version. None of them make me look good. In the real story, Yone found some purpose in the spirit realm. His spirit lives on, and the pain I caused him, it lives too. Yasuo, I know what it's like to live with that regret. Once, I had a human lover, but I lost control. I consumed his memories. I thought I was a monster, uncontrollable. But on this journey with you, I'm learning that isn't true. <sighs> the wind's howling, calling me forward. Let's return to the group. You get yourselves in order? There's something here, on the island. I think we need to find it. Ari. No more running, right? Well, we've got time to kill. Let's look into this mystery wind. What's on your mind, Lawi? I am... reflecting on what to come. The path Nagakaboros has put before us. It is a path of adventure. Heroes from different lands, united against a mighty foe, emerging victorious. You make it sound heroic, like one of your stories. But I wonder if I've made the right choices along the way. If somehow, I'm responsible for what we now face. Well, you have doubts, but you continue to follow your heart. It is what makes you strong, inspires those around you. It is why Brom will fight with you until the end. Thank you, Brom. I am grateful for your trust. And your company. When Brom returns home, he will tell stories of Ilawi, the Kraken Priestess. <laughs> All in the Freljord will know your name. Ha! <laughs> then we must win. 
I will not have my story end in failure. Sarah, you're still awake. Yeah. I was waiting up so I could murder you quietly in your sleep. You? Same. Well, since we're both up, I guess we should get back to saving the world. Together, we may have a chance. We've assembled quite the crew. With so much at stake, you really trust these people? As much as I trust you. More than that, I hope, but we're doomed. Take some time to get to know them. Fight beside them. They might surprise you. <laughs> we'll see. You're watching me. Do I frighten you? If that's your goal, you'll have to try harder. <laughs> You're not human. Not anymore. What happened to you? I was betrayed. Left for dead in the deep. Now darkness is my home. I can sense your anger. But also... A sense of justice. The deep calls for blood. And I am its blade. But the black mist... It delays my work. I wonder... If you knew my past. The things I've done. If I'd end up on your list. Or someone else's. Everyone's on someone's list. You've killed so you think you're evil. You're simply what your nature demands you to be. Same as me. I hope you find the justice you are looking for. You're quiet, Alawi. Wouldn't you normally have something to say about the motion of this place? Kraken, gods, and the like? I am afraid there is not much left for me to say about the Goddess. I fear she has abandoned me. Maybe abandoned us all. Come on. We've taken some hits, but we're not done yet. I'm not gonna stand by and let my city fall to some lovesick boy who would be king. Sarah, what if it's Bilgewater's destiny to fall? What if the Goddess is testing us and has found us unworthy? I don't care what your goddess thinks of me. I'm not gonna let gods and monsters decide what happens to my city. We'll make our way. Even if I have to drag you there kicking and screaming. Hmm. Now I see it. And what's that? Why so many are willing to follow you. Perhaps you are right. Let us continue, Captain. Grom couldn't help notice you staring. Do you need something? You want to know what I was thinking, big guy? Ah. <laughs> uh, perhaps not in front of the others. Uh... Relax, Brom. I was just thinking about your stories of home. Trolls and dragons, mountains of ice and snow. Until I met you, they were all just stories. I used to dream of sailing the far-off lands, seeing all there was to see. But Bilgewater has become my whole world. Then you must visit the Freljord. Brom will be your guide. We will have many adventures. <laughs> Whoa there, big guy. One adventure at a time. Ionian, you wield the blade. Effectively. That's high praise from a practice killer. One killer always knows another. I suppose that's true. My master was the greatest of all swordsmen. I am but a shadow of him. Nothing wrong with being a shadow. There are certainly benefits to going unnoticed. Your master is dead then. <sighs> he is. And some believe by my hand. You seek his vengeance? What makes you think I didn't kill him? Call it a hunch. Well, at least the Blood Harbor Ripper believes me. <laughs> yes. 
Pike, I was wrong about you. Seems like we all were. You've been a helpful out. You are needed. We all are. To end this. There was little trust when you joined us. You have proven yourself worthy of the cause. You sound like the priestess. <laughs> Not the priestess kind of worthy. The warrior kind. I admit, this isn't my usual calling. It may suit you better. You've never seen me work. Maybe someday you will. No, thanks. I prefer our arrangement as it is. Agreed. I definitely should not be here. Something is wrong. It's not the current speaking to me. It's... my failings. Yasuo? Our power is forward movement. You stand still, rooted by fear. You are unworthy of our power. The wind serves me. The wind pities you. Apathy and hesitation are its enemy. Who are you? I am whoever you need me to be. Whoever you fear. Not again. No. Brother. Yomi. You don't understand. You're right. I do not. Anyone know what's happening here? This place must prey on fear. The winds are like loose threads of time. Okay, anyone less philosophical? Yasuo's past has caught up to him. Again. Finish this, as you once did. No. Not this time. I accept my mistakes. And the mistakes of others. And you step forward into your destiny. You had to make the choice again? Yes. I've faced my brother before, and always given in to rage. Confusion. Followed by regret. Now? You are calm. Well, that was... eventful. Let's head back to the ship. The crew should be finished patching her up. Yasuo, I am glad you were able to confront your past. Turns out I'm in your debt. If not for this journey, I'd still be lost. Alone. We have come a long way, but the fight against the Ruined King has just begun. Regardless of what happens, I won't leave until you've found what you're looking for. I gave my word. With Yone, I've had a lifetime of regret dragging behind me. You, several lifetimes. I've learned the importance of moving forward. The question is... How do we accomplish that, without sacrificing the greater mission? I thought I needed to know my past to know myself. But that seems so unimportant now. All I know for certain is that we cannot allow Bilgewater to share the same fate as the Blessed Isles. Together, I believe we can stop it. Yes. Together. Looks like the ship is ready. 
If we sail fast and have no more... unexpected interruptions, we should be able to beat the ruined king to Bilgewater. Lead the way, Captain. That's what I like to hear. How did you manage to hide from the Noxians for so long? Staying out of sight. Making sure that those who did see me didn't tell anyone about it. Sounds... brutal. It was. For them. Welcome back to Bilgewater, Gangplank. My Bilgewater. I bet this wasn't the homecoming you were dreaming of. Fortune, I'm not the same man whose ship you sank all those years ago. My pride is gone. Only my destiny remains. If I have to arrive in chains, so be it. I still have friends in this city. I'll be on the throne again soon. You know what your problem is? Those old friends of yours. Most of them work for me now. And they like it better that way. Oh, Fortune. They don't respect a peacemaker. Everyone's just waiting for the right moment to stick a blade in your back. <laughs> Lock him up, Raffin. Some cell where the tide leaks in and the sun can't reach. Are we seeing you, Fortune? Sure you will. At the execution. You should let me go kill him now. Nobody will believe he's dead unless I do it in public, myself. But that will have to wait until after Bilgewater survives the Ruined King. I will go to my people. They may be able to help. Though you helped us before, I failed to stop this heroine. An ancient king has risen with a heart full of rage. And you have come to make another request of me. Yes. We have a powerful amulet that can contain the king, but he has corrupted it. I doubt we could repair it here in Bilgewater. Our temples do not have the strength to purify an evil like that. Could I bring it to the Buru capital? I cannot permit that. Such an artifact could bring the King's rage down upon our people too. It may be safer to evacuate Bilgewater than to save it. But Elder, I know of another place sacred to Nagakaboros. When we were in the Purification Temple, I learned about an ancient Buru forge in the Shadow Isles. What is this forge? A place of power like that could purify the amulet. You have not heard of it because it is forbidden. It was abandoned by our ancestors. You granted me the help of the serpent collars, but this forge is too much. We have no records of its location. That place is loathsome to Nagakaburos. Elder, since I left Bilgewater, I have prayed for another vision, but she has been silent. Her teachings, my old assumptions, everything is clouded and strange. But I think the goddess wants me to challenge these things, to go to forbidden places and dig up forgotten truths. She is testing me, and I will serve her by making difficult decisions and trusting my own judgment. I will find this forge, purify this amulet, and trap the ruined king. No ancient warning can stop me. All right, Raffin. Do your men need anything else? We're set, Captain. The crews are distributing supplies. 
This city has weathered a harrowing before. We can do it again. Drawi, welcome to the war room. I have never been in one before. <laughs> what did your elders say? Will they help us cleanse the amulet? They cannot. What? Why? There is no ritual site in Bilgewater strong enough to do it. We could use the Buru Forge instead, but it is forbidden. They will not tell me where it is. The forge you read about. It's on the Shadow Isles. How do we even find a place like that? Necrit. He would know. Yes. That old spirit would know every inch of his domain. We should pay him another visit. But this forbidden place... How forbidden is... Forbidden. I do not know, nor do I care. Nagakoboros loves change and motion, so we shall challenge this ancient warning, bring some motion to a dusty forgotten place. On a mission like this, I am honored to have you all by my side. Let us prepare ourselves for another journey, then forge a weapon to defeat the ruined king. Fortune, you lead well. I thought you didn't like captains, leaders, the whole concept. The people of Bilgewater, you won't leave them to drown. Some would cut the rope, let the weak sink to the bottom. But I won't. So what, you gonna take me off that list of yours? I hope. You're at the end. There are many more deserving necks between the Ruined King and you. Ah, oh, you want to kill me last. That's sweet. It isn't... sweet. But thank you, Pike. You and I... We've got more in common than I thought. After this whole thing is over, maybe we can make an arrangement. Hmm... I think not. You're still Captain Fortune. Destroying all in his path. We have vowed to save the city. We have an amulet which can stop him. But he has already corrupted it and dulled its magic. There is a Buru Forge hidden somewhere on these isles. A place of power like that could purify the amulet. Ah, yes, the Buru Forge. If I recall, it is hidden deep inside a nearby vault. You will take a great interest in that vault, Ari. Me? The Vesani made use of this particular vault. You may find echoes of the ancestors you seek. The Vesani's footsteps. I will certainly try to follow them, scholar. We will be in your debt. It is I who will be in debt. I've longed for the day when champions gather to fight back the mist. Well, do they tell any stories of you, the great Buru truth bearer? I am but one of many truth bearers. There are no stories of me that I know. What of you? 
Do they tell your stories in the Freljord? <laughs> of course they do. It is good to have myths, legends. The Freljord, oh, it is a land full of legends. Where I am from, there is a great bear of storms. We pray to him for fair weather. What does a bear have to do with storms? The Mother Serpent controls the waves. Rom will have to ask him. He is nice, once you calm him down. I've heard tales of Vestaya who live their entire lives in the water. I've seen them. Really? They have their songs, light and airy. Carry staves, move the water about. Nice enough. This is it. Can you get us in? I had better. Grom hopes this finally connects you with your people, Ari. I have waited this long. Why rush? <laughs> All these years, and this is the longest I've been away from home. I was just thinking the same. It's funny. I never really wondered what was across the sea. I assume just more enemies. Do you think you'll return to Ionia, after all this is done? I thought that was what I wanted. To return home, live a normal life. Now I'm not sure. Truth is, I barely remember when Ionia still felt like home. I am sorry, Asuo. I think I understand. If anyone does, it's you. I've learned more about the world, about myself, in the last few days than I ever have in Ionia. And there's still so much to discover. So much I don't know. I guess we both had to leave to find ourselves. All this time, we've been looking in the wrong place. I'm glad we made the journey together. Lucky for us, you have questionable taste in bodyguards. Fully recover. Close enough. I have to admit, I was starting to worry about you. But after all that business on the island, you seem like a new man. <laughs> no such luck. I do feel different, though. I can't explain it, but facing my brother's shadow... It's healed some part of me. Sad thing is, I had stopped believing that was possible. Now you're giving me hope. Imagine it. My entire life since I was a child. Chasing the man who took everything from me. You think killing Gangplank will bring you peace? I don't even know anymore. But it's all I've got. We'll know soon enough. We're getting close, Sarah. And by your hand or mine, Gangplank will die. There you go again. Hmm? Giving me hope. My sunstones. They're glowing. I feel... a memory? Ari. What do you see? I see... the Vasani. My people. Here, they... they researched something. They were scholars. Research? What were they studying? The benefits of having fuzzy tails? I can't focus, but there's talk of the Hallowed Mist, the original white mist that surrounded the island, of memories, of Nagakaboros? They're gone. We should proceed to the Buru Forge. Perhaps there is more to learn. Seems like your ancestors were the industrious type. There is something else. Some kind of strange stagnation. Is it the Black Mist? No. Something else. The Vault's power source seems to have failed. The pylons have gone dark as well. 
Let's get these lights back on. Another Vasani memory. They're channeling something into the golems. The Vasani are drawing on their innate abilities. They're channeling emotions. Do you think you'd be able to do the same? I'm not sure, but let's keep searching. There is more for me to learn. This device seems to manipulate energy flow. So, it'll restore the power? One way to find out. Looks like the power's back. It's incredible. The Blessed Isles had so much at their disposal. The tragedy of the Ruination stole more from the world than we could ever know. Which is why we can't let it happen again. Let's continue. I can feel so many emotions within this orb. Some kind of container? Can you draw them out? The Vasani I saw in the memory used these emotions with the golems. With my abilities, it should be possible. I've... done it. There are more to my abilities than I once thought. Now maybe we can get some of these golems out of the way. When we are done here, Pike, what will you do? Return to my work. You could teach the Buru much about the creatures of the deep. Your skills, repurposed, would be of considerable value. What I do is already valuable to some. You really don't have a choice, do you? Hmm. You have my blade for the death of the ruined king. Not a moment after. Do not mistake what I am. I am no friend or ally. We might be able to free you from this curse if we work together. Save your pity. I do not need it. Do not think it pity. Consider it my obligation. Then I pity you. Allow A moment. How are you holding up, Yasuo? After all that happened on that island, confronting my past, I just wanted to say thanks for having my back. I've traveled alone for some time and working with others. It's not exactly something I'm used to. From the moment we met, I've sensed a great motion in you. To see you pursuing your destiny, full of purpose, I am happy to be by your side. I never was one for destiny, but walking beside you has allowed me to finally find some degree of absolution. I've wandered without purpose for so long, but now, maybe this is where I'm meant to be. For the moment, at least. We will soon face a great trial. And I am thankful to have your blade by my side, and to call you friend. How about another toast? To what we've left behind, and whatever comes next. Whatever struggle we face, we will face it together. Our next toast will be to victory. I am sure of it. Hear, hear. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. What is it that powers these abominations? I feel something familiar within them. They're sunstones, the same as I carry. But they seem to hold memories. Trapped memories? The Buru religion would consider such a lack of motion to be blasphemous. Perhaps this is why the Elders never spoke of this place. 
The Vasani came here to study the White Mist and its effects on memory. Perhaps the Forge helped them create the Sunstones and power the Golems. An interesting use of their abilities. Though my own ancestors may have shunned such practice, I will not be so hasty with my judgment. This power, perhaps it can aid us on our quest. Let us continue. This memory, I sense fear, pain, the ruination. Yes, there is much unease here. So many were lost, and the survivors fled. Their work was left here unfinished. But... but... It looks like they kept detailed records, memories. If I could transfer these to my Sunstone, I would know everything. The answers you've been looking for. If the Vasani were transferring memories into the Sunstones, there must be a device capable of doing so nearby. This is the main area of the facility. That pedestal over there, looks like it's still got a charge. I sense the presence of Nankaboros. The Buru Forge must be near. Yes. The entire facility is powered by it. This technology is far beyond what the Vasani could have accomplished alone. The Blessed Isles. Truly, they were magnificent. Emphasis on were. Let's hurry, so Bilgewater doesn't suffer the same fate. The Black Mist has corrupted much of what was here, but I can use this device to transfer memories into the empty sunstone I recovered in Thresh's library. There is a wealth of Vasani knowledge here, the secrets of my people, the connection with my past that I've been searching for all this time. There are many things Brom wishes he could remember. Ari. What of the ruined king's memories? Would it be possible to put those into the sunstone? Yes, but it would be at the cost of the Vasani's research. The last remaining memories of them. Yet with the ruined king's secrets in the sunstone, we'd be able to turn them against him. Use his shame, his regret as a weapon. We've all seen the devastation that Lovesick Shade is capable of. If we've got even the slightest chance of hitting him where it hurts, we have to take it. This isn't your choice to make, Fortune. Yasuo, Sarah is right. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Can you access the Ruined King's memories? Yes. I can feel them spiraling in my mind like some kind of infection. His secrets. I can isolate them. All along, I thought I was cursed. I was ashamed of my true nature. Afraid of what I might be. But now I see. I simply misunderstood. The Vasani. They saw the potential in our abilities. A purpose. The Ruined King's memories. His pain. I can feel them in my mind. I know his secret. The dark, rotten truth at his core. His fear. His pain. I will make it our weapon. I can sense the power coming from the stone. She's done it. Yes. All that hate, doubt, and fear. It's ours to use against the Ruined King. This golem protects the chamber, and we are intruders. Go arms, friends! 
That was quite a battle. Magic and stone are no match for my blade. Let's get what we came for. Ari, are you all right? Yes. The memories overwhelmed me briefly. Because I see them. Asani. My ancestors. Your past catches up to you, too. They're fading away. And with them, all of their knowledge. Everything they accomplished here. But this is what you've been searching for. Don't let them fade away, Ari. Is there anything you can do? I... cannot. I have to let these go. Ari. We have come so far together. Ari! Where am I? Wait! Please don't leave me! I'm... alone. Forever now. I made my choice. You have never been alone, and never will be. Your gesture is a heroic one. My love, I am so sorry for what I did. Who I am. You are forgiven, as we all should be, if we are true to ourselves and sacrifice for others, as you have done. I thought my ancestors could teach me to live without causing humans pain, but... The past is gone now. And you... Memories. They will always be with you. Yours to cherish. But they are less important than the future standing before you. Go. And fight for the world. Thank you. That? Did you find any answers to your questions? All this time, I thought I was broken. Incapable of living amongst others. Ashamed. But traveling alongside you all, I've managed to keep control. I've learned about who I really am. I thought if I could uncover my past, I could find a way to deal with who I was. Turns out, I already had everything I needed. My ancestors. Their memories are gone. But I can feel the power of their conviction. They sought to help the world. And so shall I. By making new memories. My own. Now on to the real reason we came here. Yes! The Buru Forge! I can feel the power of Nagakaboros coming from just beyond this chamber. Let us proceed carefully. Ron, join me. Do you want to hear the story of the lighthouse again? No, no stories. I give you a hard time, but you keep on sticking your neck out for me. Eh, mostly just my shield. How about a toast? To friendship. You truly mean it? Pass me your gourd! <laughs> By the old gods, Brom cannot feel his face! Good stuff, huh? It's from Ionia. Helps calm the nerves. Brom must... Uh, sit. Which way is the ground? <laughs> You've got a new story to tell. The mighty Brom, felled by a drink. We... will never speak of this. We should rest. So should you. Though it is difficult, I admit, knowing our enemy does not need any. Yeah. A real weakness of being human, the whole sleep thing. I suppose you see less of it these days, with your new responsibilities. Running Bilgewater? Huh. Piece of cake. 
is it? <sighs> Even when I do rest, it never comes easy. Too much of what I've seen follows me into the dark. Probably the same for all of us. Real responsibility is the death of pleasant dreams. Once I've taken care of mine, I wonder what I'll see when I close my eyes. Hmm. Perhaps you will dream again. <laughs> Imagine that. The power of Nagakaboros is strong here. Yes, quite. The energy I feel, it is similar to that of the Purification Temple. A well of power rising from deep below the sea. Another collaboration between the Blessed Isles and the ancient Buru. Though it has long been struck from Buru history, once I'm sure the Buru were eager to come here to commune with Nagakoboros, but we are not here to pray. If not to pray, then what? I have spent far too long waiting for a sign, hoping to interpret the will of the Mother Serpent. I am no longer waiting. Now I will call upon her directly. We will see her? How exciting! She will see us. When you face Nagakaboros, all truths come to light. Only the worthy will survive the world. Another test. Yes, Pike. Should we pass, the light of the Mother Serpent shall cleanse Gangplank's amulet. Just as her light purified the seed in the Purification Temple. And if we fail? Let us hope it does not come to that. Either way, we will get what we deserve. Not the most favorable odds. I will place the amulet on the altar. Each of you reach for it, and bear your soul. Our cause is just. We cannot fail. I... am not alone. You have embraced Moshi. You will find your way forward. With us. However this journey ends, I'll do something I haven't in many years. I'll look forward, rather than to the past. I guess we've all learned something. I am worthy. We have all made sacrifices. But now I call upon the Mother Serpent. Bridge our sacrifices into redemption. Cleanse the black mist from this amulet. I think I singed my moustache. The amulet is cleansed. We did it. Elawi, was that? An avatar of the great Kraken. But the goddess, she heard me, and she granted my request. To call upon her so directly, it has long been considered against tradition. But we have been found worthy. For too long I thought this was my burden alone. But now I see we carry it together. We are the many tendrils of the serpent, and we will push back the ruination that threatens Bilgewater. Let us collect ourselves for a moment, and then we go kick the ruined king's ass. Now you're speaking my language. Sarah, a moment? Sorry, Alawi. I'm gonna hold on to this necklace until the ruined king is put in his place. But I suppose you could try it on after. No. That task is yours to bear alone. Your will is strong. But with all truths coming to light, there is still something that weighs on my conscience. So this is serious then? Gangplank. I cannot help but feel he has set these terrible events into motion. 
And for that, I too am responsible. We've covered this, Alawi. You didn't know. You thought he was dead at the bottom of the ocean. No, Sarah. After your battle with Gangplank, the Buru pulled him from the wreckage. They brought him to me. I put him to the test of the goddess. She found him worthy. I had to do everything in my power to help him recover and set him on his path. You did what? Keeping this from you. It was wrong. I am truly sorry. You're sorry? And you expect that to be enough? Until recently, I took the word of the Goddess to be absolute. She found Gangplank worthy, and I was compelled to aid him in any way I could. And now? This journey has shown me that I can challenge my Goddess with my own will. My own desire. She wants mortals to seek their own path. While the Goddess shows me many things, I alone decide which path I take. Gangplank is a complicated man, but I cannot defend his actions. If he were to come to me now, broken... You do what's right. You put him in the ground. What's done is done. Yet we cannot deny that he has proven useful. With the amulet he gave us, we may be able to stop the ruined king. It doesn't change my plans for him. <sighs> there was a time I'd put a bullet in you for lying to me, Alawi. But now... Now, you're going to help me put an end to this. I'm no fool. I can see we're better off together than alone. But you're in my debt. Once the Ruined King is gone, we'll drive Gangplank and his rats out of hiding, and stomp them out for good. Sarah, I can't make that promise. This obsession with revenge, it's not good for you. It will hurt Bilgewater too. The city needs your leadership, not your thirst for blood. Watch your tone, Priestess. My revenge isn't something I can choose to abandon. I've made a life out of scrubbing Gangplank's filth from Bilgewater, and I won't leave the job unfinished. I simply ask. Try to look beyond your past. I will never deny the pain he's caused you, but I know there is more for you. That's the thing, Alawi. My past isn't something I can look away from. For now, we have a risen king to stop. And after? I guess we'll see where we stand. I hope we'll find some common ground. As do I, Zara. As do I. We get one shot at this. If we don't stop the Ruined King here, Bilgewater will be destroyed. Together, we will win! Look, my people! The Buru stand against the Ruined King! Stand between me and my love. Nothing will hold me back. Your love? <laughs> I'm not losing my city to the delusions of some second-rate king. It's time for the truth to come to light. You are my queen. You need to act like one. No. Uh, what is this? Lies! Twisted visions! I know what is best for us. No, it's the truth. Your love is twisted. You will not corrupt the memory of my queen! No, Ari!
He's down. This is our chance. Hit him now, Ari. Your love is a lie. Stop. What do we do? We fight. I can feel your desire, Sarah. Take it. You can rule it all. Everything that you have ever wanted is within your grasp. Fought well, Queen of Bridgewater. We fought well, together. Like old times. What of the amulet? I can still feel him raging inside. But the ruined king is trapped, for now. I need you to take it. Keep it safe, away from everyone. Even me. It will be safe. You have my word. You are trembling. Tell me, what did you see? He offered me everything. Bilgewater was mine. My enemies were crushed, and Gangplank broken. I had the power to do anything. Even to bring my mother back. I wanted it. I would have surrendered to him, but... But then I heard you. And the others. I couldn't... There is greatness within you. We've all seen it. Cast your regrets aside. For now, there is only victory. Captain. Raffin, are you going to ruin our celebration? I'm afraid so. In all the chaos, Gangplank escaped. We're looking for him, but we need a plan. We need you. Gather every man. And shut down the harbor. No ships leave, understand? Anyone tries. Blow them out of the water. Yes, Captain. Sarah, this endless pursuit. Please, let it go. Guess we haven't found our common ground after all, Priestess. What you do next will define you. How you rule Bilgewater, this is your great test. Embrace motion, free yourself. You stood with me when the city was at the edge of destruction. You've challenged my faith, shown me gods and magic were real. Things that were impossible. For that, you have my respect. But I've got to hold on to my own truth. See you around, truth bearer. Do not lose yourself to revenge, Sarah. Bilgewater needs you. Truth bearer, you honor us. You have embraced motion and driven back a great evil. 
Elder, you never lost faith, even when I've strayed from the path of Buru tradition. Nonsense, child. Your faith, your actions saved countless lives. To question you would be to question the goddess herself. While destiny may guide us, you alone make your own path forward. What happens now will be up to you. Thank you, Great Elder. A victory such as this deserves a celebration. <laughs> we have much to reveal it. But for now, go. Rejoice. Now listen to the wise lady. Now there must be a tavern that's still standing. What of Captain Fortune? What has transpired here weighs on us all. Sarah will need time. For now, we shall afford her space to reflect and have faith in her decisions. You are wise, Elawi. Sarah will see the truth in your actions. But for now, all this fighting has given Brom an appetite, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, come, my friends. Tonight we celebrate. Guess this is goodbye. Uh, Rome hates goodbyes. I have enjoyed our time together. Each of you is a true champion of your people. Bilgewater owes you a tremendous debt. It has been an honor to fight beside you, Ilawi. All in the Freljord will sing of your heroic deeds. Journey safe, my friend. Remember to keep the water outside the boat. Are you kidding? I'll be joining him to make sure he gets home in one piece. That's it, Luis. And after that, Yasuo? Wherever the wind takes you? No. I drifted because I had no purpose. You all helped me find it. And it's in Noxus. Our enemy's homeland. Yes. There's someone there who may need my help. A part of my past that still means something. And you, Ari? Where will you go? I may return to the Shadow Isles. See what more I can learn of my ancestors. I will try to walk in their footsteps and hopefully leave some of my own. Good. That'll make it easier to find you. <laughs> I believe our paths will cross again. What about Fishman Pike? And the captain? Brom would have liked to thank them. Pike? <laughs> Who can say? He has returned to the deep. Perhaps he has found peace, or at least some purpose as we have. Sarah will be complicated, but I am hopeful. There is so much to rebuild. Bilgewater still needs her. Surely she will see this. Or I will make her see. Sounds like we're leaving just in time. Ha! Quickly! Get to the boat! Thank you all for this memory. Here's to the next.
charge of this establishment. You realize that's gangplank's insignia on your door? The sworn enemy of Captain Fortune and the city of Bilgewater? Gangplank's got no enemies here. But he does. Take it down. Show the captain you're still loyal, or I promise you won't like what comes next. Looks like they made their choice. Tonight we send a message. No more second chances. No more parlays. I've bled for this city. And it's time for the gangs to accept my rule. I'm done chasing ghosts. Bilgewater belongs to me. And if Gangplank wants it back, he's gonna have to take it. <laughs>